Like you are trapped here in the Pizzaplex until morning. To survive the night, you are going to need a kick-ass 80s action anthem. That is not a show program I can provide. But there is someone who can.
just another day of duties on the scale. Slightly spooked by all the crew that we've expelled out the airlock, thinking that we're Sherlock, trying to ensure whatever is aboard us. My boys, it's time to say goodbye to your friends and family. And hello to the chorus heresy. <laughs> A squat for the emperor, the holy divine emperor. A squat for the emperor, the emperor protects us. A squat for the emperor, the holy undead emperor. A squat for the emperor. Chronos must stand up for the emperor. The joke is to Notre Dame. Go to space, have some fun, kick some mushrooms, kill some. Forget course, but don't forget the chaos gods with their pitched witches squads. Trust me, man, it all makes sense. STC vodka blueprints, chain sword to the neck. All the has gotta get. It's not AI, I promise that it has brain inside of it. Clip surroundings, farm hearts, machine gun wants more parts. Cleanse it all from here, a city, then it's out of galaxy. Patrolling the ultimate segment of <laughs> almost like you wish for an exterminatus. <laughs> It is for everyone, unless you are poor. And now we go. So here's the thing. The stuff I use for all my scenes is fucking broke. So instead, we just have to go straight over to the gameplay. Isn't that exciting? And super fucking annoying. Sub nerd? Yeah. Not much. Listen, I'm already in a party finder. I'm ready to commit violence. Need to change my thing. Hold on. There. Uh. I am leaving as there is a party that has spaces. Eight. Casually in a cyberpunk red game. I see. I'm fucking ready. Oh, I'm fucking ready. You have to understand, I've been looking forward to this all day. And I mean that. Genuinely. I have been eagerly awaiting. Ooh. Had to buy myself some fucking graphics performance. I'm gonna have to set a frame limiter on 14 again. So that's very nice. Are 
Are you guys... I'm excited. We're just straight going for it. There we go. So I need to settle in for a moment. And then I'll talk you through stuff. But right now, we're at a farm party, so it's going to be a bit of a turn and burn in terms of getting shit on the road and going. All right, I got to stare at the ground. Hold on, this is important. Click. Okay. This is my preferred spot. They all went to a different spot, but it's okay. It's gonna be fun. There you go. Okay, the next one's easy. Going across. Good, good shit. I need to turn down the game audio. But it's all the way over there. And you see how many buttons I'm having to press. Anyways, I'm just gonna awkwardly reach over and do it. It didn't have much of an effect. There we go, that should have more of an effect. Okay. Easy mechanics over. Now we're moving into stuff that actually matters. Oh, look at this dumb fucking furry playing this dumb nerd game. Excuse you, dumb weed game. Oh, God damn it. My fucking riddle of fire is... Arr, it's clipping. The sink is bad on it. All right, there we go. Everyone's at their spread spot. We're gonna get. Ooh, someone was not their spread spot, but it's okay. I think they died to something else. Unrelated. Okay, fine. It is a weep game. And like most weep things, it has a tad of furry to it. Which is very common, as most furries get their starts in weep. And you know that's true. Okay. Watching the floor. We're looking for the triangle. We're going to the safe spot inside of the triangle. Triangle's right here, and our safe spot is right, right there. Right chair. Can I scoot up a tick? Here we go. We should be clear of that. <laughs> yeah, barely. Okay, next one's even easier. We're looking for the cat ears. I'm playing Gundam, that's definitely more weird than this. All right, we cat ears, and then we go to the side the arrows are on. Very good. I like this fight a lot. Big fan. Hit my true north so I can get my positions, even though I can't move anymore. Here we go. I'm going to return to my home spot because that's just usually best practice. Wait for the ads. Back. We're focusing on the big guy first because he's going to apply a fire to everyone that'll bleed over time. And then we're getting the guys over here. Because these have tethers that end up in cones when they detonate, so they need to drop next. And once that's done, we're going for these two over here on the other sides. For you. Now that. There you go. That wasn't one on the sides, but ultimately it doesn't matter. Because we're interested in dealing damage. 
The only wrong answer is not dealing damage. So that's that's why we're just picking targets and hitting them. All right, I'm gonna do some dumb shit here. We're going into the burst. I have faith in our healers, so I'm just ignoring that thing that just happened. You stress worthy enough to try. Alright, head back to my spot. But will it be enough? I need to be ready on sprint, but I'm gonna wait for the audio cue that's gonna come up. That's gonna cause me to look down here where I'm waggling my mouse. Alright, he's got his wing out. For some reason. Look now on my essence made pure. Alright. Looking down. I am in. Get sprint, get sprint, get sprint. Get ready to move. Wait for it. All right, we're safe here. And in. Hit the stack. Back out. That guy's super close to me. Cool. We're good. Chillax and relax over here for a moment. Good, and continue to chillax, but we need to chillax directly on this line. That's important. For that. Okay, he's doing shit. It's a spread. I should be here. Oh, that was... That was tight. They didn't line up their lines properly. That's irritating. Yeah, their lines were not on these lines, so what was normally supposed to be a safe spot, not a safe spot at all. Just dead. Good news, this fight's easy as shit, so we're just gonna revive and probably beat it anyways. Oh, come on! That, that clip is so fucking hard! Okay, safe spots over here. Should be okay. Yeah, we're good. I would have liked to have been slightly farther back, but it's fine. This one I am just going to chase the rest of the group on. This one I'm not as comfortable with. They're saying over there. Okay. I got to tuck into where I can... There we go. Still hit positionals. They're not positionals. They still hit the fucking boss. Cool, back to my spot. Always return to your spot. Best practice. Because he's going to be doing bullshit again that's going to be targeting all of us, and we want to be safe. Alright, I'm one. So I'm over here. Go, 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 go. Get the tether, get the tether. No, no, no. You fool. He juked when he should have jived, and he picked up the tether again. He almost died. It's no bueno. I wonder if I get the mount So anyways, how is everyone safe? There's the... Yeah. Fucking big oof right there. Yo. See, this is why you should always go back to your spot. Hold on.
Oh my god, let's get it popping. Jesus, you're late. Alright, we've wiped once. If we wipe again, I'm fucking leaving. Your boy ain't got time for that shit. All right, we're back into it. We're doing the opener. Opener's still going. I hate bosses all the way up here. I mean, it's fine, but it's just obnoxious. See, there he goes. All right, here comes the first mechanic. We're going to be watching that circle in the middle, and we're going to be tracing that line outwards to see what's going to be dangerous. It's been pretty consistent though, so I imagine it's not going to be that big of a deal. So the line is going over to this tick, where it's going to be a side, so he's going to be cleaving that entire side of the arena. So we should be just fine where we are. All of them. How is it going though? It's been a long time. This one's easy, we just go opposite of the V. I'm gonna be real, this is not that hard of a fight. Like, it, it just isn't. I like it, it's a fun fight because it's really fast. It ain't that hard. Cool. I'm gonna go chill at my spot again. Like I said, I, I will say this constantly to people that I run with. S stay at your spot. It, it's... If you're in between mechanics, staying at your spot is always the right answer. Oh, what? The fucking tank died. What the hell? Alright, well, I'm dead, so, you know. Mm. It's going great. I've been doing my little thing, you know. I got a laptop now, so I can be more active everywhere. That's neat. I gave up on the camera, and now it's this. And now I'm dead. I don't know what the tank died to. He must have clipped the uh, this AOE in the center of the arena, because I believe that's an insta-kill. I haven't touched it, so I don't know. But it's probably an insta-kill, so good. Okay. Why though? Oh, it was the whole thing. My um, my OBS is all fucked up, and the camera like I can't access the camera settings. Uh, and then one thing led to another, and no more hats and pins. I know. And I, I'm I'm still not married to it. I'm gonna be real. It's a fun oddity, but like. I don't know. Yeah, I, I like showing off my stuff. I, I like, you know, the hats was fun. Show and tell was fun. The pins was fun. I don't know, I kind of just hit the point where I was like, eh, you know what, I'm doing it and working, so. As much as I liked it, it, it wasn't going anywhere. I, I wish someone would take aggro on this fucking thing. That should 
that. It's been weird. Your whole background was fun. It was. Like, at the risk of being a negative Nancy, though, it... it I wasn't really getting any viewers. I, I do miss it, though. Allow me to show you real play. I'm debating how far I want to talk into that particular subject, honestly. You spread word without the pride. Because yeah, I, did, I did set up the room behind me with, you know, streaming in mind. That was always the intention. I am one with the flame. And it's a bit sad to let it go, but you know. Look now on my I, I know talking about, you know, uh, Twitch channel growth and all that stuff isn't everyone's favorite topic. But I've gotten a lot a lot better response from um I'm out. I'm in by the way, if anyone's curious. I've gotten a lot better response to this than I did um just me. I don't know. I guess I'm just not attractive enough. <laughs> Uh, um, both the healers died, and I don't really know why. And now I'm dead. Yeah. I did have someone point out an interesting thing. Also, sorry, I need to, um... I don't mean to drag this out in front of everyone, but, uh... What was this? Uh, fucking... Chill frames. I don't remember how to open this. Damn it. That's the thing I use as an FPS limiter. And I kind of need to run it in this instance because it is chewing up my computer. Bless you. I'm waiting for this cyberpunk game to wrap up so I can come vibe. You want to talk about a vibe? You should have seen me. Nice, were you there when I did the cyberpunk stuff? I feel like you were, but I can't remember. It was so long ago. God, it was so long ago. All right, it's gonna be that entire side of the arena. So I'm just gonna chillax over here. They're, um, they're about to, to get really hurt. Whatever. Are these healers using food? Like, what the fuck? I don't mean to be a dick. But what the fuck? Oh, that's bad. Yes, you were. Yeah, that's what I thought. So that was a fucking vibe. That shit was nuts. I am dead ass leaving after this pull. This isn't happening. I don't understand why they all died to that. What like? Oh, oh, bless them. Their gear is fucking trash. Oh. God damn it. Because the thing is, I've run this a lot. And, and when I was clearing this last week, the thing I noted is that, like, You know, most people could get hit by that goddamn mechanic and they would, you know, it hurt, but they would live. So anytime someone just outright dies, I'm kind of like, um... What's the fuck? Like, these guys, they're, uh, they're, they're not well here. That 
That was even my fault. I threaded the needle over there. They're just too undergeared for this. I'm gonna be real. That's what's going on here. You may blame me, but I was over there. I threaded the needle between these two dudes. I've done that before. It's sketchy, but like, I didn't, I didn't, from where I was missing, I didn't have time to get back to my spot, so I just kind of switched in. Also, I've just, I'm not paying attention. I'm gonna be entirely honest. Sorry, I'm gonna wait for this to go off and then res, just for safety's sake. I don't want to hate, but like... We haven't even gotten to the, the hardest mechanic yet. Well, we haven't cleared it. We, I think we've gotten to it twice, depending on your definition of the hardest mechanic. Oof. Oh, man. I need to leave. I need to leave this instance. I'm not going to give up. I'm not giving up, but I have to leave. I can't stay here. <laughs> I also need to buy some supplies. And the reason I have to leave, if I stay here, I'm going to start saying mean shit. That's what's going to happen. I, it's, it's just how it's going to be. Oh, Lord. BRB, yeah, do that. I might re- nah, I don't want to restart the game. 14 has this thing where if you let it, it will just take all of your processing power and run wild with it. So actually, here's a, here's a tip for you, Julio, if you're streaming 14. Uh, I would recommend doing a frame rate limit on it because it will just, just suck up all the resources that it can which will give you really bad streaming performance. It's not a guarantee, but it, it, it does on my computers. All right, so I'm in. I'm actually the stack marker. I need sprint. Are you talking to me? I'm just kind of talking. But yes, I was. Don't worry, we'll come back to it. I'll circle back around to the thing I was saying, so don't worry. I didn't hear you. I've got you down low because of the Ooh, game. No, that's fine. Ain't no thing, Billy Bean. I shall tear you asunder! All right. This group said fix immolation spots and then never picked immolation spots. So it's just a fucking free for all. That should have been a big red flag. But the rule is three wipes and I'm out. That, that is the rule. And by God, I didn't stick to it on Sunday and I should have. And I'm fucking going to today. That's my rule, by the way. Here. You're probably wondering I'm over here and they're over there. 
Uh, it's a, it's a safe spot that I like. The reality is this entire area was safe. That's just my preference on that one. This person's saying over here, and I'm gonna believe them. It is going to be a near thing if we hit this DPS chat. In fact, I'm pretty confident we're not going to. Chilling at our spots. I am seven, so I'm stepping up. Get out of my way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. Give me that tether. Back to my spot. Bring so it's out. I need to rush my burst right now. Okay, it's stack. Okay, everyone who has a favor to stack. I, I don't like that you're there, my guy. I don't like that you're there. Yeah, that's why. No. Ah, oh, this is rough. You know, when I'm in these, I have to try so hard. I have to really focus, make sure I don't accidentally say something super toxic. Whoa, it's a trial, though. <laughs> The, the toxic thing, not the fight. The fight's easy as shit. I learned this fight in an hour. I don't know if we're gonna beat this, but I really hope we do. Because this fight is long. And running into Enrage is rough because the fight is so long. Yeah, we're 10 minutes in right now. I am not using a potion, though. Ooh, I don't know what's gonna happen here. We're coming up on Enrage real soon. I really hope no one hits Limit Break. That's, that's Enraged. Alright! As always, you say thank you, and then you leave. Okay, session's over. <laughs> that fight I'm in's over. Uh, no, I'm not doing that group. Holy shit, that group is undergeared. <laughs> I mean, they're not undergeared, but like. They're pretty undergeared. <laughs> Oof. Ripping pasta? Yeah, pretty much. Let me uh, try to fix something. They don't have enough skill to compensate for the lack of trying. I, I wouldn't say that. Let me try and fix something real quick. Um. Who's, what? Oh, I, I'm changing a thing. 
I, I have to put my frame rate limiter on for everything because of the um the load it's putting on the CPU primarily. That's what I'm doing real quick. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> I'm just setting it for frame rate cap on everything. Yeah, I I really don't want to hate, but ugh. You know, I'm just blacklisting people f advertising their FCs. I, yeah, I know a lot of people that, that fucking hate that. You are not the only person I know that absolutely hates that. That was annoying. I need more. Grade 7 Tinctures of Strength, please. Oh, I don't want to spit here. I'm going to buy 40. And then I could use a few more Sunset Carob Nibbles. Uh, 33. No, I, uh, that... They weren't under-geared, but if you were going to bring that level of gear, you really needed to bring a significantly higher amount of skill. Why is there a fucking blue mage in there? I've forgotten what group I was in. Hold on. Uh, I'm looking to see if it was this Sarah Moore thing. It was not. Alright, we'll join that. They say a minimum of five runs. That does give some hope. That being said, if they wipe a lot, I'm still leaving. What you guys can't see and what I won't show you is that I can... I, I, um, I track my DPS numbers because I'm a sweaty fucking tryhard. I heart Sunset Carrot Nipple. No, I'm a sweaty tryhard. I want my damage to be big. That being said, I also, I don't do the optimal opener. I do the second most optimal opener because I like it a lot better. So I'm not doing 110% like, mm, biggie, biggie, dip, dip, DPS. Instead, I'm doing, um, I'm trying to do the absolute best that I can. So I'm not trying to compete with other people. I'm trying to compete with myself. So I run a DPS tracker. And I can see other people's numbers. I don't know what's happening, so I'm putting this down so I can see where everyone wants to be. No one's answering the immolation question. This is important. You're sweating, but not ultra sweating. Pretty much. I have gotten the name on that wrong. I don't remember. The fuck was it called again? No one's answering this fucking question. And our, our, our groups are uneven.
This answers my question. I am good now. I understand what is happening. Second left slice. We're doing fixed. I can handle that. Make sure none of my shit's broken. I'm ready. By the way, what was you trying to tell me earlier? Yeah, uh, Final Fantasy XIV is kind of a pig in that it'll eat all of your um, processing power if you let it. So I always recommend running a frame rate limiter when streaming because uh, it'll just absolutely gobble up your CPU resources. I just completely brain deaded and did the wrong opener. How do is there one in game or no? There is one in game, and that will work. It is kind of shit. Okay, we're watching the ground. All right, so we're going click and click. We're good where we are. I use the third party one. Uh, just because I find it more effective. It works for me. Good. All right, let's check the other one. This one is easy. It's just the V. We just go opposite of the V. Easy peasy. Cheesy cover girl. Yeah, there is one in game under system configuration. It's uh, it's down here, and I'm actually turning it off because I don't need it, because I set up another one. Will See, I like this guy. He goes back to his spot. Mm. Easy peasy pasta linguini. Yeah, pretty much. As the great Mario Spaghetti once said, a pizza to pasta. All right, so we're gonna do some walking and we're gonna see what mechanics we get here. We're on spread, so I'm gonna hang out right here. Go, 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 get across. And we're doing our first. Waiting for the next mechanic, it's a stack. So I'm gonna mantra and riddle of earth and scoot a little bit. All right, my spot's right here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and park my butt there. I like that this party knows how to count. Because the one, two, three, and four isn't the correct order as opposed to being one, two, four, three. I mean, it's it's one, two, three, four, as opposed to being one, two, four, three, which annoys the shit out of me. I hate it when they do that. It's like they've never seen a fucking clock before in their life. Or a number tree, or the alphabet. I got mine set at 60, you might down that to 30. You do jump farther at 30 FPS. Fun fact. All right, so there's the V. So we're gonna go ahead and nestle ourselves right here in the middle of this slice. Really fun. Uh, yeah, jiggle physics are also more pronounced at uh, 30 FPS. The more you know. So if that matters to you, that's the thing. All right, we're looking at the cat ears. The cat ears are rotating this way, so this is our spot. Woo! Jiggle physics, woo! Yeah. Very exciting. I'll do it after I do ultimate weapon. Are you- you are already at ultimate- what ultimate weapon in the story? Hot damn. You're motoring. That is not the end of A Realm Reborn, by the way. There is there is uh, a decent amount of A Realm Reborn to go after that. All 
I meant the Rock Castrum, which is the first 50 quest. Rock Castrum. I haven't done Rock Castrum since they updated it. That is, that is new. Because it used to be a trial. Uh, it used to be a, an eight-person trial, but it was a fucking joke. Also, I like the reference. Yeah. Yeah, I hope you're ready for references, because you're going to get a lot of them. I know I've mentioned that already, but still. I like the last fight I did, honestly. I think you're on... Uh, what was the last fight? Look now on my essence made pure. Hold on. I am out. I have flare. Get sprint going. Get ready to move. Destruction We're here. Incarnate. We're here. Oh, I clipped it. I clipped it bad. I'm dead. Nope, I'm alive. All right, we're good. The flames rise high. Okay. That's a bit. Clear for the inferno. Good. Two ashes with you. Scalding ring, so we're in. Looking, looking. It's grouped. So we're setting back here. Hold on, I can't read. We're, we're in a pretty tense part of the fight. I will catch up with what you're saying in a moment. Uh, auto mod, yeah. I un auto modded it, but I, I didn't read what it actually said, so hopefully it wasn't anything too bad. All right, I'm about to get a number over my head, which is the hardest part of the fight, because I am stupid. I mean, we have another thing first, but soon there will be numbers, and I will be easily confused. Okay, so this one, we're looking for the line in the center. Flames to lick at your heels. The line in the center is there. So I'm scootaloot and dooting on over here. I saw that you said you'll give me a warning before you say anything too bad. Man, it feels good to be good at mechanics. It's over here because a lot is exploding. That'll detonate and we'll be good right here. Hey. Get back to the safe spot. So we're not using Limit Break right now. We are saving it for the healers in case things just go absolutely tits up. All right, I'm four, so I'm going to be on this side. And we're going to get ready to count. I am to one. Two, go, 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 go. Three. Four, go, 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 go. The tether. I didn't get the tether. There we go. No. Just saw my life pass before my eyes. Oh, hell yeah, there's the dancer limit break. Get wrecked. With you. Okay, hold on. Oh, this is much better than the last group I was with. Hold on. I like the last fight I did, honestly. Dude was like... Nah, I don't care. I died twice. I'm gonna kill you. Didn't fucking work, but he tried. I know I'll hit the mage with uh, damage over time. Uh, auto mod being a butt, and I'll get a warning price saying too bad. Everything this guy says, I just hear burn in holy fire. 
GG. I mean, yeah, pretty much. I'm gonna be right back for bio, so you're just gonna see a dumb screen. <laughs> Have fun with that. are working again. This is so good. Oh. I just hear the door open on an off fuck yet. Yeah. So at the risk of being a negative Nancy, uh, Julio, can you can you see the reason why I don't stream 14 a lot? And by the reason, I mean look at the view counter. It should be around the uh, Darish, over Darish. I love 14. Like I said before, it's my favorite game of all time. It's not my most popular stream content. Ooh, I did big dick damage that time. Rip, well, I have fun watching you, so... A no, once you get a copy of the game, we'll have to... I'll have to add you to the friends list and stuff. And you can join the free company if you want to. I don't... I mean, we don't do anything. Like, the free company is... Mostly two people. But, you know. As soon as that refund goes through the, your first friend request I'm sending. Tsk. Also, do you like my glam? I've updated it. I did some grinding last night to get this chest piece and pants in a dyeable form. So I could put these uh, this together. And I'm very happy with it. And I just remembered that I need to update my portrait. So update that. Go to portrait. Right there. You know, I feel like I can do better. Hold on. <laughs> I like that. That's gonna be my portrait for a bit. It's just that. <laughs> Upside down is fun. Yeah, I don't know if you've seen this, but you have this portrait system. Most of them I haven't set up because it's a lot of effort. Some of them I have. I've got Sage, I'm really happy with my Sage one. Reaper is fun, I like my Reaper one. And I don't, oh yeah, I did one for Blue Mage, I forgot about that. Oh, <laughs> uh, the Blue Mage one is good, hold on. I wanna zoom the Blue Mage one into it. Here we go. And at some point, Pulio, ooh. Gotta let the fucking FPS calm down during the loading screen, holy shit. That one's a frog.
sorry, I'm being sassy in the chat. FPS, we ain't got that shit. Three, two, pot, and attack. So far, that first run was pretty good. This is a long ass fight though. It's over 10 minutes. Which is a long fight. That's a lot of time to be invested in a single piece of combat. All right, we're looking. Follow the line, line's there, it's clocking there, there, it's gonna be a half arena. What knows it is? So if you're wondering why I'm standing away from the group, it's because I'm doing what's called positionals. If you haven't seen it, uh, a number of classes have positionals. Where when they uh is clipped. And back. Where did you go? No about positionals. Okay, yeah. Monk used to have all positionals. Every skill on Monk's bar used to be a positional. So you would be constantly just shimmying back and forth. And I kinda miss that, but you know, it's uh it, nothing of value was lost, I'm gonna be real. Wait, click on the game. Click the, on a random streamer. Fair. You're like, this isn't that weird dude I've been watching. I goofed my shit a little bit. Alright, this is my stop. Goodbye, everyone. You guys have fun at your positionals. Your positions. Step into the magic field. Period. I wasn't in theater mode for some reason. Like this. Okay, I need to pay attention. I, I, I've not been paying that good of attention. Ah, <laughs> uh, bruh. When I was, there was an extreme mode fight that I was farming, and I got so used to it that I was watching subbed anime. <laughs> I wasn't even looking at the goddamn fight, and I was getting like top tier DPS parses. <laughs> Sweat mode activated. Well, no, no, it's just mechanics are happening. If I don't pay attention, I'll die. Damn, that's a flex. I mean, I, I, be, I beat that fight a hundred times. Hey, Dylan, how's it going? To me. Dylan, it's a different fight. I promise you, it's, it's stream crash, let me rip. I promise it's a different fight, okay? I, I'm, I'm not doing goddamn P8S, all right? We're not in P8S. We're doing an extreme mode. I don't know if Dylan even understands this joke, because the joke here is that uh, Dylan commented one time, he's like, are you on the same fight still? When I was trying to clear uh, P8S. And Dylan asked it like three times. It's going well, and it does look the same. Yeah, the arena floor is similar. He lied, it's nothing alike. Oh god, that's my tether. We're doing, we're doing, we're doing. What if, Dylan, you just don't have a good eye for 14 fights? What if that's the real reason? Meanwhile, Minfili and Robon are trying to rally the troops. <laughs> ah, yes, Minfilia. Her stupid armor. 
still not a fan of it. Allow me to show you real play. Hold on, Dylan. Sorry, I gotta look. I gotta look at my thing, and I'm gonna read that. I really don't, because I've never played 14. That's fair. And this isn't even like early in 14. I mean, this this fight came out last week. I am one with the flame. I've been playing for maybe two weeks, and I'm st still not a fan of it. Been Billy's outfit? No, I've never been a fan of her outfit. I do own it though, because I got her hairstyle, and our hairstyle is really good. Okay, checking my debuffs. I am out because I have flair. I need sprint. I need sprint. I need sprint. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Back, 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 back. In, 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 in. <laughs> I almost died. All right, step in a little bit. Get a little bit of heals. The flames rise higher. That was my phone telling me that it's bedtime. I'm on a, on a normal night. All right, so we're just gonna chill here. I'm gonna do my um, odd burst. Stack. Right, I'm gonna be RB. I need to say goodbye to another streamer. Yeah. Do the thing. Make your skirt is nice with the top is problem. It is. It's it's weird. Like having you know the mid drift is one thing. Having the the harness around the boobs is the weird part. That's the part where I go, fucking really? All right, watching the floor. Actually, I'm starting my burst, then I'm watching the floor. All right, over here is where I'm going. I should go over there with them, I just... I like over here. I wish they'd come over here faster so they could have picked up my, um, my bug. You know, that's a suboptimal thing I'm doing on DPS, not everything about it. That side. That cone. That seems wrong. No, it was right. I was right. Okay, thank God. The harness would look fine if it weren't for the midriff. The midriff would be fine without the harness. The combination is the issue. I will agree to that. To be fair, that was a different age. Their, their character designs have gotten a lot better. And I mean a lot better. They've improved drastically. All right, I'm number eight. So I stand here, catch the tether. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. Eight. The flames rise higher. I'm tempted to limit break, but I also want to do damage. So I'm just not going to. Two ashes with you. That's out. Oh. oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> Welcome back. Tits or tummy, not both. Yeah. That's fair. Whew. That run had me scared at the end there because everyone was dead. It was terrifying. I love... I love how everything shits itself when the loading screen happens uh, because I need to put on a different FPS limiter. <laughs>
Okay, going back in. Get ready for the FPS to die. Or just don't move. Then it will be fine, and you can't tell the difference. I like this song. It sets the pace really well. Okay. Guess what, they won. Are you gonna tell me that? Let me guess, you're gonna tell me you got to drive the Scotsman's next. And then I'll cuss at you. Holy spamming, because there's a good amount of enemies. Just so you know that they, uh, the stun does, they get stun immunity after a while. This is a, as a heads up. That being said, definitely do Holy Spam. Holy Spam is absolutely worth it. Flames to lick at your heels. All right. We are clocking that way. It's a half arena, so we're just gonna chill over here. No, but I did see it again, okay? Yeah. Well, um, I, I watched the, the documentary about Tornado hitting 100 again, because I really like that documentary. So that was it. I watched that again. Yeah, that was that was fun. I want to see the Scots. I want to see a lot of things, actually. I wish I wish I lived somewhere where um, trains were more available. Speaking of living somewhere, interesting news as of today that kind of came my way. I was browsing job applications. And so I have an engineering degree. Like I, I, have, a, I have a mechanical engineering degree. But I don't know anyone who works in industry and neither does anyone in my family because I am the first person in my family to get a fucking engineering degree. So, when it comes to applying for jobs, I'm basically just like fucking freestyling it because I got no backup. I ain't got like recommendations, I ain't got shit. I'm just out here sitting, sending applications into the fucking wind and hoping for the best. And today, I saw a job opening at a Fortune 500 company. You're probably wondering, Tiny, you just said you have no connections. Why is this exciting? I'm sure loads of Fortune 500 companies are hiring and will not hire you. My mom knows the president of contract sales at this Fortune 500 company. So you bet your sweet fucking biffy I'm applying for that job, but I'm gonna try to get into it, because holy shit. Flames to lick it. The one I was on, though, was Bluebird. Uh, fucking UK trains with their goddamn... Actually having access to trains because it's a smaller country, so it's easier to, you know, go see them. I would have to move for this job, but, like... If I get an engineer, a mechanical engineering job at a Fortune 500 company, like, I would be fucking stupid to turn down that opportunity. It's, it's not like it's a done deal. It's a high possibility is what we're operating on. But, um, definitely, definitely, definitely interested. And also super nervous because, you know, most of the time when I apply, you know, I typically apply for a job, it's, eh. You know, I don't have connections. I just have a resume, a cover letter, and, and a please hire me. But, like... There's a potential possibility on that, and that's terrifying.
So that's that's kind of got me all the all the jitters. I've also applied to a different business that I, I would I'd rather work at, but you know, I, I need a better job. Really easy to see trains in the UK. Yeah, it is, and I'm. I want to go to the UK. I want to go to the UK, and I want to tour various heritage railways, and I also want to tour various industrial museums. Because that's what I'm interested in, because I'm a fucking nerd. That's just what I'm, that's what I'm looking for. Fuck! That was really bad. I went to use perfect balance and it didn't go off. It clips. Which blows. See, yeah, I'd love to visit the UK just to go, you know basically tour industrial heritage. If you ever come over, let me know. I'll try and get you on my friend's engine. Oh my fucking plaintiff. No, I'm definitely interested. All right, I'm out, by the way. I have flare, get sprint off. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Shift in. Hang back for the detonation, because it's big. Step in, get a mantra out, and back the fuck back off. The flames rise higher. Good. And I'm gonna faint for this. I don't know if it'll help, but I I want to feel like I'm contributing. Uh, did I lose someone? I'm confused. I looked like I was in my high slide by myself. Yeah, trust me, Dylan. Uh, that is that's an opportunity I would not pass up. You still haven't told me or what engine it is or sent me pictures of it, you know. I'm waiting. So, you know, I'd like to see. There's the line. We're going over here. Oh, shit. I keep forgetting. Yeah. I want to see train, my guy. That was not a terrible burst at all. This is the one I have no confidence on. But Midi seems to be very confident. So if we die here, uh, you know, I'm going to blame them. I don't think we will, though. Well, that's looking good. Yeah, the idea of moving has got me super nervous because I've lived in the same general area for 10 years. And, you know, I've, I've gotten used to it. If, if I have to move for this job, I'm going to do it. You know, I'd be stupid to not. But I will be giving up parts of my life I've gotten really used to. I'm four. I'm going over to this side. You're probably thinking, like, well, like what? I, I wouldn't be able to play D&D anymore. One, two, three, four. Go, 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 go. You guys are so close together. I'm going next week, I believe, so I'll set a reminder to get pictures and find out the class. I, I'm excited to know. Ooh, I need that. I'm not getting that, though. Ugh, I rolled a 4, a 10, and a 30. 
not great. But a clear is what we're actually here for. Oh, I got the guillotine. It's fucking neat. I don't really need it or want it, but I got it. Poo. How's my gear? Not bad. How's my spirit bond? Not bad. That was run what? Three? I think it was three. So we're committed to two more because I'm polite like that. So that was a Dark Knight? Yeah, that was Dark Knight. Oh, I got the card! Sweet. How many tokens am I? I'm up to 16. Okay. Uh, that means what? I need 99 of those tokens. It's only a small shunter type? Yeah, but those are my favorite! Dylan, we've been over this. 060 shunters are my jam. Big fan. Actually, just 060s. I just, they're so dumb. Love them. I like the way these kind of around. They're like, I don't know what stability is, but boy, howdy, can I go around a turn? What if it? You know what the wheel arrangement is on it? I think you've told me, but it slipped my mind. So what is it? The glory fire. I need the details. Son of a bitch. I hit fat fingered snap punch instead of demolish. That's rough. Flames to lick at your heels. All right, we're looking at the line. Click, going over there. It's gonna be this half the arena, so we're just gonna chill. Julio, I haven't asked, but do you like trains? This is important to know if you're gonna be on, if you're gonna be a, a valued member of this Twitch community. I know a small amount, but nothing big. No, no, no. You don't have to know anything about trains. You just have to like trains. Like, if the answer to the question, are trains cool, is a no, then you're in the wrong place. If it's yes, then you're in the right place. Intimate knowledge of trains is not required, because I myself am not a, uh, I'm not a foamer by any means. I mean, I like learning. Doesn't matter the subject. You haven't answered the question, Julio. Are you stalling? Are you ashamed of your lack of train-based enthusiasm? Can't remember off the top of my head. Sorry, this I need to look for this mechanic. I can't stop and read. Go off. Damn it, I'm... I'm getting missed inputs and it's really annoying. Anyways. Camera off the top of my head. Here we all check Discord because I sent a picture basically the same engine, just the wrong color. Yeah. There's learning to be done. Learning to be had, I'll learn. Trains or no trains. Your refusal to answer these questions. I'm starting to think you're not into trains. <laughs> hey man, Final Fantasy XIV has trains, all right? So it does adhere to the rule that all great video games have a train in them. Which is the thing, by the way. Yeah, I was afraid that that was going to pass away over there. Oh, this is convenient. We're right here. 
I, you have, I have no affinity for or against trains. We're gonna change that. So Choo Choo Charles. Excuse you, I already streamed Choo Choo Charles, I'll have you know. I streamed a playthrough of it the week it came out. Don't even. No, 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 My, my, I almost died. No, I, uh, I, I did an entire playthrough of Future Charles in one sitting. It was fun. I like Future Charles. It's very good. But at some point, I'm going to be... It's a four-wheel. Oh, it's an 040. <laughs> Very adorable. Is it steam or is it a shunter? I mean, is it steam or is it diesel? I think you, you said it's a steam engine, yeah? Excited for a sequel? Oh, will burn. Yeah, it'll be cool if we get a sequel to that. I like the part where everything explodes. You it's steam. Will it be Never written on a steam engine. <laughs> I am one with the flame. I like that makes me really sad. Like I rode on a lot of trains growing up, but I've never ridden behind a conventional steam engine. I say that because there is a caveat. I have ridden behind on one steam engine. Well, I've ridden you behind, you know, one eight-scale steam engines. I've driven one eight-scale steam engines. All right, I am in for this. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Oh, I did not. Oh, he moved in. Son of a bitch. I was about to say I didn't have enough health. No, he, he got too close to me. That's important. Because I've, you know, I've driven the one eight scale steam engine, which I think I've shown you pictures of. Two ashes with. And I've ridden on the uh, the Cog Railway at Mount Washington, but I've never ridden on like a steam train excursion. I shall tear you asunder. And it's kind of a bummer. Actually, it's kind of depressing, really, is what it is. It's funny, because I know there's a difference between those and big boy steamers. There is! Especially the little ones, like, yeah, it's a fully functioning steam engine, but it's not a locomotive, you know, it ain't a full. I was dead for such a long time. Flames to lick in your heels. I know what I'm doing. I'm pretty sure this is right. And if it's not, then I'm gonna regret it. To me. Yeah, I've, I've never gotten to be put, uh, done a you know proper steam excursion because they they were more. The reason was is because you know when I was growing, I, most of the steam excursions I went on was when I was growing up, and I was the one that was into trains, not my family. So you know, you know, buying four tickets on a steam excursion, which are not cheap; those are expensive tickets. You know, when only one of the family members is really excited about that, uh, you know, they, they'd opt for, like, the, the diesel ticket, which is, like, half the fucking price. And when you have... Use a stepladder just to get into the cab, you know you're playing with big boy toys. Now, I have... I have driven engines that require stepladders to get into cabs. I have operated full-size diesel locomotive. Don't, don't mistake that. I, I have... I have done that. One, two, three, 
four. I, did, I wish these guys would stretch this tether out a bit. You know, I did, I did use to volunteer out at the train museum. One thing that occurred to me is like, if I do get this job, I will be closer to one of the best, um, one of the best train museums in the fucking country. Oh my God, I'm just gonna die. I chose death. Come, he said you said, I did. I sometimes I miss not doing it anymore, but I, I do not. When I think back to it, my opinion hasn't changed on the reasons I stopped volunteering there. And, and because of that, I, I have not changed my mind and gone back. Those opinions are still lock steady. Which is unfortunate because, you know, it was it, there's a lot of cool train stuff. It's also unfortunate. Someone asked me the other day why I don't try to get a job with the railroads, and I told them because I'd actually like to have free time. <laughs> but, like... Have I told, have I told y'all why I stopped? It's not like a personal thing. Like I'm not, I'm not ashamed of it. There's no, no, there's nothing like that. You know, I, I don't feel bad about it. I just don't know if I've mentioned it. They never really looked after their kit. That was part of it. There was also some people out there that were super fucking racist. And I just, I got sick of that. But no, they had such a bad attitude. They would rather, like, there was stuff that could be fixed and solutions that could be had, but because everyone out there was so fucking afraid of change, they'd rather just let the equipment sit there and rot than actually do anything about it. I'm going to tell you about this, and it'll probably, like, if you wanted to, a bad attitude is always a bummer, pretty much. One of the final straws for me, other than the, you know, racism, was, um, because I live in the South, okay? I know this is going to sound weird, but I live in the South. Sometimes you just have to suck it the fuck up and just accept that you're just going to have to deal with people saying racist shit. And you're probably like, what? That's ridiculous. No, like, I live in the South. It's just explaining to someone to the, that the shit they're saying is inappropriate and racist is a fucking tall order. And sometimes you just have to suck it up. And they have an engine that all it needed was a new drive wheel pin? No. Been there? No, there was a... One of the incidents that really got my go was... They had an, uh, a diesel engine. I don't... Re I will tell you right now. I do not remember the names and models and numbers of engines. That's not my thing. I don't really give a shit. So, about that... So typically, if like if I'm talking about an engine, I don't know what the number is, I don't know what the model is, I don't know what the manufacturer was. In this case, I know it was it was a GP. Something. And it had a problem that it had a dead cylinder. Julio's saying they've been there with the whole like you just sometimes have to put up with the races. Things. I'm not condoning them. I'm saying sometimes you just have to put up with them. It had a dead cylinder. So for whatever reason, I don't know, they never looked into it, one of the cylinders didn't burn fuel. So it would occasionally shove raw fuel into the exhaust, which was extremely hot, and it would backfuck, you know, big Because this was a massive 24 fuck off cylinder. No, it was a 12 cylinder fuck off. It was huge. So sometimes it would backfire, and it would just spew crap everywhere when it did this. And one day, and I, I brought this up. I was like, hey, this thing is just back, because the backfiring was increasing. They're like power outages, annoying, and 
unavoidable. Yeah. So, like, this was becoming a regular problem. The engine was backfiring a lot. And I was like, hey, let's do something about this. Because it's, you know, it's backfiring a lot. It's spewing, you know, burning material out of the exhaust every time it does it. It's dangerous. And they were like, well, what are we supposed to do about it? Stop having a train ride? And I'm like, well, no, not necessarily. The, you have to understand the train ride at that time was during the summer. And in the summer, they used an open top inspection car and an open top caboose uh, for the train ride. Which meant the the cars that were literally directly, because there's only two cars in the train ride, the cars directly behind the engine and the people in them are entirely exposed. They're just out in the open. And I was concerned that the engine was going to backfire and spew burning shit all over me. And I was like, instead of, you know, canceling the train rides, let's, you know, maybe pull the engine aside and look into it a little bit, see if we can't figure out what's wrong with it. And they're like, no, we can't do that. We can't stop having train rides. And I'm like, okay. Can we swap out for the enclosed carriage? Because we had a fully enclosed passenger carriage with air conditioning and heating. And I was like, can we can we swap out for that? And they were like, absolutely not. That's a ridiculous idea. Why would we do that? And I was like, and the thing is, like, they, they were extremely rude about this and very angry at the suggestion. So I'm paraphrasing. And I was like, all right, well, fuck it. I guess we'll just not do anything about it then. And I, that was the last time I went to the museum. And I shit you not, a week later, that fucking engine backfired and they had to call four goddamn ambulances out to the fucking museum because of the amount of people it burned. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm done. Like, fuck this. This could have been prevented. I tried. I gave it God's honest effort and they just blew me the fuck off. So no, I don't give a shit. All I was fucking done at that point. And you may think I'm not exaggerating. They literally had to call ambulances. People got hurt. Like, it, it's ridiculous. If you assholes aren't willing to help me fix the issues, you can deal with the thought on your own. Basically. I am one with the flame. All right. So that's that's one of the reasons I stopped. I was like, this is ridiculous. Look now on my essence, mate. Like they never wanted to fix anything. They always just wanted to wallow in the problem. And I, I I'm not that person. I'm just I'm not. That drives me nuts. I am in shuffle shuffle shuffle. Shuffle shuffle shuffle. Shuffle. Please don't step in, please don't step in, please don't step in. Thank god. So yeah. Fucking hell, that's crazy. Why the fuck did they really not trust that you knew what problems were? Well, the thing is, is I, it wasn't even me that was pointing out the problem. Everyone knew that the engine was doing this. It wasn't a fucking secret. If an issue can be fixed, fix it. It's stupid. Pretty much. But no one wanted to solve it because it would have meant taking the engine out of service, and it was the only working engine we had for train rides. But people got hurt. People had to get, they had to call multiple ambulances. And I told them it would happen. That's just gross negligence. So yeah, like, every time I think about, oh man, cause like I looked at it and the museums, like they've, they've turned it around to some extent, you know, it's, they, they had a steam engine visit, they've had all this other stuff, and I'm like, damn, if I'd still been going to the steam, you know, the museum, I would have gotten to play with the steam engine and all that, and that would have been fucking dope, and, and then I think about the fucking racism, I think about the just shit attitudes of, yeah, we could fix this, but we're not going to, because fuck it, it would cost money, and we don't want to spend it. Or the, oh, we could solve this problem, but it would be really inconvenient, so we're just not going to. And I'm just like, yeah, you know what? Fuck it, and fuck them. Dark flames to me. 
Instead, I've joined the uh, the miniature train club, and I get to play with the trains however much I want. People aren't assholes. People are willing to invest money into projects to make the railroad better. I get to play with a fucking steam engine. Even if it's a miniature one, I get to play with it. So, you know, I, it's, I'm just coming out on top on that. I don't get to go to the cl uh, train club as much as I would like. Fuck you and the horse you rode in on. Yeah. The, the horse who rode in on you. Fuck you and that horse is with his cock up your ass. I don't know why I said that. It came into my mind and I wanted to say it. I thought it was kind of funny. Exactly. I figured that's what you were getting at, so, you know. Ooh, I'm number one. Yay. I've never felt so important in my life. Oh no, I gotta... No, 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 no. If you don't grab that tether, by the way, it is a wipe. Sounds bad, but I kind of hope you step forward and told the police about the fact they were negligent on the safety side. I didn't. I didn't have an opportunity to or anything. I, I live like an hour away. And I had no proof. Like, I, I had no proof, so. It was his hat, Mr. Krabs. He was number one. Because this was back in, like, 2013 or 14. It was a while ago. I I'm confident they got in trouble. I'm, but yeah, I I at that point I was just I just washed my hands of it. Like it's it was never a local thing. I always had to drive about you know, forty five to an hour to get there, which is about the same it takes me to get to the train club, even though it's farther away. This was a really good farm party. I haven't talked about this, but we didn't wipe once. We Everyone stayed there for all the fucking clears. Like, this was a quality party. All right, let's do uh, let's grab this stuff and then let's do a uh, I was about to say a quick 24 man. I'm not sure that exists. So yeah, I The thing is, is, like, I'm not the first person that, air quotes, got burned. I don't mean that as a snide remark. Like, I don't... It occurred to me as I was saying it, the connotations of the discussion and how that plays in. I didn't mean that as a pun. But I'm not the only the first person that's been put out by that train museum and the people that were running it at the time, and I doubt I will be the last. So, it's... Yeah. The, the train club that I'm in originally was at the museum's previous location because the museum moved at one point. And the train club that I'm a part of was at their first location. And when it when they went to when they uh, the move was happening and the train club was talking with them about, you know, oh, moving to the new site with them and all that jazz. The um, the train museum basically told them to go fuck themselves. Because the train museum had decided that they were going to pick up a uh, 24 inch gauge that's track width. Uh, old park train uh, from some amusement park that was shut down in Alabama and they were going to run that as opposed to having the miniature uh, miniature steam, steam club that I'm a member of and so they basically told them to go fuck themselves and figure it out on their own so they got left in the lurch for a couple of years while they had to find new property to work at And but now we have a we, like the train club has a fantastic property we've got a huge amount of acreage to work with the the fucking rent for the land is dirt cheap because the uh, the county that we're in had no development projects for this property whatsoever. As far as they were concerned, it was dead land that they weren't going to do with anything. And we get to put trains there and we host uh, four train rides a year, which is really fun. It's great. We do um, 
Uh, oh, I need a queue. Hold on. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna queue on. I don't need any gear for Monk. And I kind of want to play a different class. But I want to play. Uh, I have a new Reaper Glam. I have a Healer Glam, though. I love playing Healer. Let's play Healer. And also, I'll get in faster. I'm stupid. I meant to do a different thing. Instead, I did Expert Roulette, because I'm dumb. <laughs> Whatever. It works out. But yeah, we do, um, we run for, th uh, three hours. And we average 400 riders. Which, hear me out on this, is the shitload. Back now. Uh, Pulio, I was just saying that the um, the train club I'm in, I literally was just saying as you were coming back. You may have actually seen it uh, because of the time delay. Yeah, the train club I'm in, we do four public ride days a year. We run for three hours, and three hours doesn't sound like a lot, but three hours of managing a steam engine by yourself, because the steam engines are too small to have a fireman, so you are the fireman and the engineer at the same time, and also they're fucking tiny, so you're hunched over it. And also, it's Georgia, so it's usually like 90 fucking degrees outside, and you're sitting in front of, behind a steam engine. So basically, we run for three hours. And in that time, we average 400 riders. Although, uh, one time we did 800 in three hours. And that is a shitload of people. Because you also have to remember, another thing that I didn't mention, the train ride lasts 15 minutes. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's a $2 ticket, and it's free for kids, so, you know, fuck it, whatever. 15 minutes for 2 bucks, that's a pretty good deal. And people love it. Like, people that come out fucking love it. But yeah, we do, like, we, did, we averaged 400 people, and last time we did fucking 800, which was bananas. B A N A N A S. It's bananas. So it's, that's that's really fun. I really that's my favorite thing that we do with the train clubs. I love love the uh, public run days, which I think comes from um, I uh, I did I was a sound engineer for years. If horse starts that much, prostitution would be booming. Oh, the abortion industry. Hey, jokes. That was an inappropriate joke. It's like, oh, you said something that gets you automatic? Don't worry, I'm going to say something much worse. What was I talking about? Yeah, the, the train day is my favorite day, and I think that comes from... I did a lot of, like, sound engineering stuff. When I was 15, I started working as a sound technician, and I stuck with that for years. Like, I did that for probably 14 years. Which is a long time to be doing something. And I, uh, I only stopped at the start of COVID. I, 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 I kind of took stock on my life and stopped doing some things. But I love performing and I love, you know, being involved in putting on a show. That's, that's my favorite thing in the world. I love, like, 3D modeling I love. I adore 3D modeling. It's so much fun. But my favorite place in the world is backstage at a concert. Eight audiovisual cables strewn everywhere. Fucking microphones on stands in hand. 
set list in hand, stage plot, ready to do a changeover in five minutes that should take 10 and will probably actually take 15. That's my favorite place in the world. Slinging cables, hitting bands on stage, sound checking, mixing shows, that... <laughs> Sounds like chaos, it is. It is, it is absolute chaos. And it is my favorite thing in the world. And I will never do it for a career because the industry treats their employees like shit. And I refuse to work a job, no matter how much I love it, if it's not going to respect my time. There's a convention, a, there's a small convention. I don't know if you've ever done nerd convention stuff, right? Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to drop because Clark because I need to sleep. Dylan, I'm surprised you're awake. It's a fucking Tuesday. I would assume you'd be, a, you know, you'd have work in the morning, you know, man, it's pretty late. But thanks for coming, I hope you've had some fun. I am going to be starting streams at 8 now, so they're going to be starting a little bit earlier, if that matters. 30 minutes earlier. Ooh. No, I used to volunteer at a convention, and I'm not going to go into the reasons why I don't anymore, because that's... But, um, I used to volunteer at Dragon Con. Which, if you've heard of Dragon Con, Dragon Con's a big show. And I was in charge of sound for a 2,000-person ballroom. For daytime and nighttime. And I would work daytime and nighttime. I worked a 20 hour shift. And I loved every fucking moment of it. Dragon Con is one of the biggest conventions in the US. Like, the only conventions that are bigger than Dragon Con are corporate conventions. Stuff like Comic Con. Things like that, where it's it's a corporate run event. It's not a fan convention. But Dragon Con is enormous. And uh, yeah, so I, I ran sound for 2,000 person ballrooms, mixed bands, troubleshoot, solved problems. Loved it. Loved every moment of it. And I stopped partially because I just aged out of it, man. Like, I just, I can't physically do that anymore. You know, I've got a job, I've got responsibilities, I I can't work a 20-hour shift and, you know, then sleep for a fucking full 24-hour period afterwards anymore. Kind of laid it all out and did it for nine years. It was, it was fun while it lasted, but eventually I, I got really tired of it. Mainly because my role got changed and I got moved to a different space. And that space wasn't as dramatic, shall we say, in terms of what was going on. Honestly, I'd be dead after 10 hours. Listen, dog, when I say I worked a 20 hour shift, you have to realize I worked a 20 hour shift four days in a row. And if you're thinking, that's insane. Yes. And I did it for fucking free. I didn't get paid a dime. If they had been paying me, I would have made a shitload of money though. Like I, I would have made multiple thousands of dollars. That's dedication I can't match. People that work Fucking sound are crazy, man. That industry is littered with crazy people who love what they're doing enough to just burn themselves to the ground doing it. And I've I've seen enough people who've done that to to know not to do it. It's, it's kind of the sad part. It, it like genuinely makes me really sad thinking about it because I love it so much. But I've seen where it leaves people at the like. When they're in their 40s, I've seen where it leaves people. You know, not just like, you know, 60s, 70s. No, no, I've seen where it leaves people midway through life. And I just... Chose a different path. Oh, 
Oh man, I'm actually getting really emotional now. Oh god. I, it's weird talking about it, because I haven't talked about it in like a year or two, but like... That was such a major part of my life. Not like working Dragon Hot, just doing sound and stuff. And I had to, st I had to stop because I one, I just, I can't, I don't make enough money right now. I don't have the time. But uh, oh god, it makes me so sad. <laughs> like genuinely, really sad. Oh man, I need therapy. <laughs> Like a, like a hair's breadth away from just tearing up. This rerun is probably going to take a few days. Probably. But on the bright side, you're not going to run out of game anytime soon. Also, therapy is good. It is! A and the last time I tried to find a therapist, the only available therapist was three hours away from where I live. So that was nice. That was good. Yeah, that wasn't great. Phew, I need therapy. There's a lot more accessible therapy options now. Ah, oh, nah, dog. This was like three years ago. <laughs> it wasn't that long ago. The thing is, I actually don't. I don't necessarily need therapy. I need um, a psychiatrist because the old noodle doesn't quite tick over correctly. So I need uh, I, I need to go see someone who can diagnose stuff. Some of which has already been diagnosed. Like I've already been diagnosed with dyslexia. I've already been diagnosed with um, ADHD. Uh, I I had a potential diagnosis from someone who wasn't like a licensed psychiatrist, but they were like, "Yeah, you definitely have clinical depression. I just can't formally diagnose you as one." My brain doesn't work right, yay. Oh, I got the works, dog. I'm super fucked up in the brain again. I'm insane in the membrane, my guy. Yeah, this is what it is. Meanwhile, I have an undiagnosed PTSD. And it's not even that bad. Undiagnosed anything is always a bad thing. If anyone's gonna take anything away from this stream, it's that therapy is good and you should never be ashamed of going. And you should probably go at least once in your life to see if there's any underlying conditions that you aren't aware of that could be a result to help make your life better. <coughs> Anyways, kill the bad man. He's ugly and his name is Scarlet. And I don't respect someone whose name I can't pronounce. Be fell and we're adapted. I'm well adapted too, but like, well adapted doesn't mean doing well. If you know what I mean. Ew, you fucking. Loser. Anyways, this conversation's getting entirely too deep. You're not. You're not a loser. Or are you saying you're not well adjusted? My friends are constantly surprised by the amount of trauma I passed. Mine aren't, because that shit's been... They, they've gotten a front row seat to some of that shit. If Raven was here, he'd be he'd be chomping at the bit to say stuff. I'm a mess. I'm a functional mess. Like, I can get by on a day-to-day -day basis, but I am this <laughs> I didn't even told y'all about my day-to-day. -day. It was fucking awful. <laughs> On my way home from work, a uh, 
some dude decided that they needed to left make a left turn, so they just stopped in the middle of the fucking road and just completely blocked an intersection, and I had to sit through an entire green light while this dipshit blocked the whole intersection, and I will tell you right now, I completely lost my shit. Well, I'm sorry, I'm 22 and have been through more shit than a lot of people. That's kind of how it goes, my guy. I'd have killed him. I, I... I will tell you what I did. I'm not proud of it, but I'll tell you what I did. I did a burnout of a stoplight and just screamed for, like, five minutes straight. So, like, not my proudest moment, but, you know, whatever. I do promise you, if I seem well-adjusted, I'm not. It, 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 it's in a, it's a clever, clever illusion I've mastered over years having to interact with people that don't give a flying fuck about whether or not my brain functions. Like, for real, just go to the next intersection, it's not that bad. No, no, they had to, they had to add five minutes onto my commute. It was important. It was important that they made a turn out of the wrong lane. I hate my job. This this is not a secret. I ooh, wait for it. I fucking hate my job. It is torture. I go into work. I work at first of all, I work nine hours. Every day I go in, it's nine hours. I have Thursdays and fucking Sundays off. So I don't get a weekend. I get individual days off, which is bad for you, by the way. There is a lot of data that proves that that is unhealthy. You need two days off in a row. But I work overtime. I have worked overtime every fucking day I've gone into work for over a year. And that's after coming off of spending several years of working full time and doing college. To say that I'm tired is a fucking understatement. <laughs> but the thing is, is, is it's gone because of the recession. And I fuck you, we're in a recession. Don't, don't fucking even. Business has slowed down drastically. Like today, I think we had six customers come in the store. I want you to picture that. Six people came into the store over the course of nine hours. Nine hours. And there were six customers. So I have to sit on an uncomfortable stool for nine fucking hours waiting for something to happen. Give me that part where I mentioned I have ADHD. I have to sit on a stool for nine hours. I mean, I can stand up. That's an option. But like, I have to, I have to do nothing for nine hours. And it is fucking torture. It is like physically painful. Like I'm one of those ADHD people who like, I can, I can kind of stay on task. It takes a lot of effort, but I can do it. And I do get easily distracted, but like I, I can recover because I've learned, to, I've taught myself to recognize when I'm getting distracted. But I have to be engaged with something. I cannot sit idle. Like for me, being idle is is fucking torture. It's awful. It is it, you can't imagine. So my current job involves me sitting for multiple hours at a time doing absolutely fucking nothing. And the only reason I haven't quit out of a rage midway through a day is because I desperately need money. So I'm functional. I'm not a well adjusted, but I'm functional. Also, I'm just super crabby all of the time now because you know, I, I'm antsy, I'm stressed because nothing's happening and my brain is screaming at me. And also I'm tired because they changed my work schedule. I have to get up an hour earlier than I used to and it takes me a long time to adapt. And like, I'm just losing my shit slowly. So yeah, I spent five minutes just screaming in my, like just incoherently screaming in my pickup truck on the way home today. 
Ugh. I don't have a follow-up to that. That's just kind of how my day went, you know? It was awful. It was torture. Fucking hate every minute of it. Whew! Anyways! <laughs> There's something in my eye, which is why my hand keeps going to my face, because there's crap in my eye. Anyways, it's time for me to go to bed because I have to, I have work in the morning again. Oh, oh fuck, I don't want to go. Ugh. Saying it out loud, I hate it. I hate it so much. God, I hate my job so much. I don't even have anything constructive to say about it. Just at my wits end with that shit. I really fucking hope I get a new job in the next couple of months. Because uh, if, if I have to put up with like two or three more months of eight hours a day of just of fucking torture, I am going to lose my mind. Realistically, what will happen, I'll just snap one day and I'll just quit on the spot and leave. You hope so too? I appreciate, I appreciate that. Deep breaths. <sighs> Go to college. Get a degree. Get a vocational degree. Do something. Don't don't stall out your life like some people I've met. Strive for something. Have a goddamn ambition. This is life advice. Alright, this is life advice that I'm going to drop on you guys right now. Have a goal. It doesn't matter what the fuck it is. Have a life goal. And always aim towards it. Oh, I make $30,000 this year. Okay, well next year I want to make $40,000. What do I have to do to make that happen? Always aim for something doesn't matter what it is. Always aim for something and keep moving forward. Because as long as you do that, as long as you keep putting one foot in front of the other, it doesn't matter how fucking slow you're moving. As long as you're making progress, then you're going to do better and you're going to be better and you're going to have a better life. As long as you keep striving for it. The moment you get complacent and you just sit there and you wallow and you rot. That's when you've lost. That's when it's over. Complacency is the death of happiness. And if good enough is good enough for you, then maybe value yourself more. That's the most motivational thing I can think of. While I'm now at the ultimate weapon, I promised myself I'd make sure to do this one live, so I gotta go sadly. We'll still do a lurk though. I don't know, do you want me to join you for it? I mean, I'll stop streaming, but I'll join you for it if you want to do it with other people, or are you gonna do it with uh, with the AI? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just know where you are that I can just teleport there. This is the wrong way. I was going to do it with AI, but I'm down to play. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, I think you were in Northern Thanalan. If I remember correctly. Correct. Well, let's find Pulio on my fattest cat. Or fatter cat. I can't wait for the fattest cat. I hope they add that to the game. It's gonna be dope. I'm assuming Pulio is gonna be up here by the gate. I don't actually know though. That's not a Pulio. That's a Lollafell. You're already going the wrong way. Ooh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on.
There's a thing. Going to kill it. Immediately distracted. I meant Sid by the docks. You'll be there in a second. I'm killing this A rank. Hell yeah. Profits. And now I'm paralyzed. <laughs> Alright. Well, I'm going to join Pulio for this. Everyone else. Well, actually, does anyone else want to watch? Are you doing... Hold on. I think you're doing... Let me check what you're doing. Because if you're doing one thing, I don't want to stream it. If you're doing another thing, I'll, I'm going to stream it. You are... You just did Praetorium. So you're going to be at Ultimate Weapon. Yeah? Where is that? What is that? Yeah, there it is. Cool. I'll stream that. I haven't actually played this. I have not done Ultimate Weapon. I don't know where the fuck the docks are. <laughs> where the fuck are you? Never mind. All right, invite me to party, nerd. I'll be a tank. And then we'll get a fast queue. They get a lot of trash now that I look at it. You can't. Right click. Oh yeah, I forgot, you'll get an XP boost because I'm a Minter, I just don't have the Minter crown up. Alright. I kind of want to do this on a monk. I don't want to do it on Reaper. I'll do it on a monk. You don't meet the requirements for this duty. Wait, that means you're at... Are you at the Praetorium? Let me get my model going. I don't think so? I don't know, you tell me. figured out. That is the same image as the quest. What, this one? Here. There, you're the party leader. You can just queue for it. Ah, okay. The Praetorium is long, by the way. Fair enough. Do it. Anyways, Praetorium is ex yeah, fuck it, I'll stream it. Praetorium is very long. It's Praetorium, do it. You want to do Praetorium with uh, people, and I will tell you why. Because Praetorium, with players killing bosses really fast, takes roughly 40 minutes. It is very, very long. Let's see if I'm a decent healer. I don't know. Actually, here, unqueue it. I'll swap the tank, and then we should get some DPS really quick.
So just hit withdraw and then hit uh, Q up again. Yo. Tank and healer pretty much instant Q. That was fast. It's because I'm a tank and you're a healer, which means we're the two in need jobs. God, my character's so fucking tall. <laughs> Yours looks nicer than mine, more color. Uh, that's because of uh, demon magic. Called uh, G pose. Not G pose, it's um, G shade. Heresy. Listen, G shade is not uncommon. Because if I turn it off, it looks like this. Which is still good looking. Like, it's still a good looking game. It's just the colors are a bit dull. Oh boy. Tell you what, Marcus, we got it. Or. Julio, we gotta get you some, uh, some poetics. Boy, howdy, I hope you're ready for some real pulls. I also forgot that I still haven't set up the G keys on my keyboard. So normally I hit those to hit uh, five and six, but they're not set up right now, so it just doesn't work. Hell yeah. This used to be a uh, an eight-man instance, by the way. If you're curious, it was not always a dungeon. This and Ultima Weapon used to be uh, one straight shot. We should probably just be in Discord. Now that I think about it going to join the Discord. There we go. <laughs> oh, yes. I gave, I'm giving Julio a panic attack. <laughs> so unnecessary. So tell me, Mr. Tank, why did you use Super Golide in the middle of a trash bowl? Well, sir, I just really wanted to scare the shit out of the healer. Well, I'm in two streams at once. That must be crazy.
Oh, there we go. Yes. <laughs> hey, there we go. The tab. Yes. Cutscene. I'm sure that was fun. My health's just going to one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I looked up after like trying to panic and get the Discord because I was trying to manage like eight things at once, and I just see your health at like a fit, and I'm just like, oh. Gunbreaker has a skill card called Super Bolide, and when they use it, they're eight. They shoot themselves in the fucking head. Oh shoot, the audio isn't synced up. No, it's not going to be. <laughs> they shoot themselves in the fucking head and reduce their hit points to one in exchange for being invulnerable for like <laughs> eight seconds. Fair enough. Uh, Dark Knight has a similar thing where Dark Knight, uh, they can't drop below. They uh, when they drop to one hit point. They instead uh, fucking become invulnerable for a period of time, and then if they don't get healed up to max by that timer ends, they just fucking die. Ah, fun. I hope you're ready for a lot of cutscenes. I mean, it's the end of the first expansion, or at least like the story end of the first expansion. Primary story. So you could not let it show. <laughs> you rip open the walls in this place just so you could say this to me? What is it you want, Gaius? He wants the death of all the Frenchmen. Mm. I want you at my side, Sid. Take up your father's mantle and become the Empire's lead engineer. It is your destiny. How about no, you crazy Dutch bastard? My father had a change of heart. You said yourself. Besides, I have long known my destiny. I assure you, it lies not with the Empire. Also, his voice when I remember is fucking They will all change. A pity. And what of you, adventurer? Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> it's too fast. Too fast, cool. Uh, yeah, once you hit the uh, heavens word, every single, like, almost every voice actor is going to change, except Minvilia. Uh, Sid doesn't change. Yeah, he just gets at better at it. To the behind the voice actor. He gets better yeah. at it. I mean, fair. I think Gaius keeps his voice actor, too. Mm. 14 is, is not big on letting characters go to waste. That's fair. I just noticed his hat's clipping through his gun blade. Oh, I cannot see that now. I've, I've never seen... I've played this game for nine years. I've never <laughs> noticed that until just this moment. I hate it. Oh, shit. Although this cutscene's also I'm new, so... Muscles. It's a robot. He's got muscles on his arm. Punch him so Run, wide. Sid, or stay. Oh. It makes no matter. You cannot escape the past. There's a classic <laughs> line from this, and I can't wait for it. Caius, wait, damn it. Yeah, this used to be a, 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 an eight-man raid, and it still took 40 fucking minutes, and people hated it. Fucking hell. Originally, you could not watch the cutscenes in here because players would just skip all of them and press on. So then they made the cutscenes unskippable, and then people wouldn't run it because it would take 40 fucking minutes. And eventually they realized that it was just a stupid idea altogether and they made it done. I mean, there, it's working, I guess. I think we actually got four and a Even with the two in need rolls. <laughs> They also I split it off. Ultima, Ultimate Weapon used to be part of this. I suppose it was seven instances. Can he be heavy? No. That's disappointing. Also, holy shit, the music in here is so loud. <laughs> You may have noticed that the AI does not exactly have really stellar DPS. Yeah, this is a lot better than I was expecting. Yeah, the AI slow as fuck. Oh damn, I didn't realize this was a teleport terminal. You used to have to ride the elevator down. 
which meant uh, inevitably someone would get left at the top, and then they'd have to wait for the elevator to come back up, and then they'd have to ride it down by themselves. Oh, shit. It was absolutely like, they learned a lot of lessons. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Lessons have been learned. Mistakes were made. Talk about it. We are still zooming though. Dying. Yeah, we've got rockets. I'm a bird in my life. <laughs> Zoomy zooming. They were already dead. Do you remember the mecha from the cutscene earlier that uh, you guys captured? Look on the uh, the left hand side of the robot. Initially, there was a cutscene when you went to go get the robot that revealed that, and then they dropped it because it was a fucking time waster. <laughs> ah, okay. oh, how it has changed. This is all exactly the fucking same. This segment. The laser gates new though. I don't think the PS3 could render laser gates. Oh god, that's right. This came out on the PS3, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, it came out on PC first, and then PS3 much uh, when it hit a rumble board. Uh, Fun fact. God, I feel old. No, no, get this. So, 1.0 when it came out, it only had controller support. It didn't have keyboard and mouse support, but it also didn't launch on the PS3. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> I would. Commits luck. Yeah, it was awful. Me. I need to divert all power to the Magitek Cannon as I did at Castor Meridian. So what I'm hearing is we need to fire the laser. Mm -hmm. It's a big... We need to cross the streams. Big sticky door. Why is it a big sticky door? Uh -huh. Ultimate weapon... <laughs> Ultimate weapon just shot a load at the door. That's what happened. I wasn't going to say that. <laughs> I was. I did. I like how this was like, oh god. Back in the day, this was like one of those, yeah, epic moments, and and now I'm doing extreme mode fights where everything is exploding for ten minutes straight. <laughs> everything is exploding for ten minutes straight, and also the enemies are gods. Yeah, I don't know how much you were watching of, of that fight, but that fight's fast and also really long. I mean, I was paying attention to it as much as I could. It was probably all garbage. I'm get up sure. Down like eight times. Yeah, I did, I did fight it. Killed it five times, and then that first group was dead. I don't know if they were ever gonna kill it. Fair. I'm wearing an eye patch, and my hair covers my other eyes. So I'm just staring at a fucking eye patch. That's a move. My character's hair is clipping through the headband that he's got. Mm -hmm. I don't have any decent um, hairstyles yet. Armor. No. Oh. Nah. And I also don't have any like decent armor sets that I can just have around. Yeah, but that's a good one. Have you I mean, have, have you gotten introduced to the glamour dresser yet? Yes, I have. Okay. Uh, I put the uh, event armor in there for later use. It's always worth checking the um the the armoire because some stuff can get stored in that and then it doesn't take up slots in the dresser. You've been leaving a fine mess in your wake, adventure. <laughs> Nero's a prick. I mean, everyone I mean, is a prick. That head. Is someone there? He's obviously compensating for something with that help. Yeah, right? <laughs> Garlon, my old friend, how it warms my heart to hear your voice again after all these years. Dick. He is the most Power Ranger out of these Power Ranger looking motherfuckers. Nero, Go is that you? Power yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you sound well. It would seem this savage land agrees with you. The highest ranking Tribunus of the whatever the fuck. was you all this time. I can't read. Reading? That's for nerds. What? You lost me. 
Don't play the fool with me. Ever since the Academy, I've been condemned to live in your shadow. It's not just that. It does. I oh, measure. I was more talented of the two of us. Yet that fact counted for not beside your privileged birth. You were admired as a young prodigy simply because your father was a great Midas non Galaron. I thought that was going to be a lot shorter dialogue box there. <laughs> it was. It's still there. That's Did awkward. not have enough breath. When you defected, shit! <laughs> Go fuck yourself, game. <laughs> but by disappearing, you acquired the status of a legend, and your reputed genius gaining credence merely by dint of your absence. Instead of cursing you for a traitor, the people actually came to think more of you fondly. To this day, you are still the young prodigy of Magitech. I, meanwhile, have ever been made to feel second-rate. I, who have continued to serve our nation faithfully. Whenever I fail to excel, why, it is only to be expected. Yet when I exceed all reasonable expectations, people proclaim that I walk in the footsteps of the great Sid non-bloody Garland. I think he's butthurt. This is literally just Tesla, but he's a prick. <laughs> Nero, I, I don't know what to say. Not wrong. It matters not which what I achieve. Your existence has rendered mine worthless. Even Lord Van Belsar saw fit to offer you a place at his side. And in spite of your betrayal, did he extend any such offer to me, the man who has remained loyal to him all these years? Why no, he did not. Get good. Yeah, get wrecked. <laughs> Long have I endured this injustice, but no more. Lord Van Velsar is in the midst of activating the fully powered Ultima weapon. It is my magnum opus, the creation that will win me the recognition I am due. I will not let anyone interfere. I'm gonna kill it. Nero, what are you? There's an ultimate fight of ultimate weapon, and the uh, all the ultimate fights are abbreviated to their initials. Ever since I first set foot in this blind land, I have watched you. Every move you have made, every step you have taken. You have felt icons. Of... Like yeah, he's just like, mm. <laughs> who is this person? Mm. Uh, but yeah, the uh, there's ultimate weapon, ultimate, and abbreviated that is, <laughs> uwu. Oh, <laughs> and that's just how the community calls it. <laughs> it's just uwu. And there's the epic of Alexander, which it's is the T. The only time where it's not cringe. It's still cringe. It's less cringe. Mm -hmm. That's the joke of the channel point routine. <laughs> is that it's cringe. It, it, Come it's adventure. Like, uh, it's like that joke in Helsing Ultimate Bridge. It's just lying. Is it on fire? It'll be more on fire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love Helsing Ultimate Bridge. It's great. So who's ready to clap the Red Power Ranger? Excuse me, who's ready for five minutes of cutscenes after this? We're actually oh, moving at a really good clip. I should figure out what armor this, um, Arjur guy is wearing. That's, that's kind of cool, I like that. Oh, the, uh, Arjzeal? That's a stack, that's a stack, that's a stack! <laughs> I am not aware of that mechanic very much. That marker always indicates so stack. That's the first time I've actually seen that. Yo. I know it comes up a lot. I just didn't know about it before this. It was originally introduced in Heaven's Word, but they've they've gone back and added. So like the red marker that appeared around me earlier meant that it was a tank buster coming. There used to not be one. You used to just have to fucking know. I know it was a tank buster. You used to just have to watch the cast bar and remember the names of the tank busters. Keeping up arrow is hate and fun. But yeah. is it good damage over time? It is. Do I suck at that? Also, yes. So, uh, swift cast stack will keep you from getting knocked back. Not swift cast, uh, um, sure cast. Sure cast. Yeah. Swift cast is great. Love swift cast. Swift cast is great when someone's down. A lot of oh no, I use Swift Cast to cast Holy. That's fair. That's listen. Start the pull, right? You put a region on the tank. You put the crowd region up, and then you Swift Cast Holy, and you just keep casting Holy until the regions stop working. Because usually by about that time, Holy also stops working. Because Holy has a stun. 
but they get stun immunity. Yeah. Go down, you bastard. No tank bus. Noise. It's always nice when they're trying to get off a big attack and it's just like, ha! Oh. His weapon is stupid looking. This changes nothing. I mean... They greatly dumbed... They, they have decreased how stupid a lot of the armors look as the game has gotten older. That's fair. The armor set I'm wearing, like, looks like it'd be a lower level armor set. It's from last expansion. Damn. Meanwhile, I'm just in, like, the healer row... Or the, it, I think this is the cleric set that I literally just got mm. from my level 50 um, role quest. The ones that the other two are in are also in level 50 gear, I think. I'd have oh. to double check. They may be in level 70 gear. I'd have to actually look at it because I get him confused. One of them is in level 70 gear. The other one I think is in level 50 gear. The one in red is level 70 gear, I know that. Guys, this is certain to be there. Word arrived from the Alliance a short while ago. It seems the Order of the Twin Adder has completed its blockade of Castrum Sentry. Yo, let's go. What hands they can spare are hasting this way, even as we speak, and likewise for the Maelstrom. All that's left is to destroy the ultimate weapon. That's what you think. I should warn you, the chamber which houses the target appears to be saturated with etheric energies. There's bound to be heavy interference. So what I'm hearing is we go and blind. Murder it, yes. <laughs> but even if we lose contact, you must go on. So, same plan as before, yeah. I love that I'm so much taller than everyone else here. All I could see was the tops of your ears in my cutscene. <laughs> yeah, that's I've fucking got that great. I, I bet. Uh, uh, I've, I've got your stream muted and, like, it's like I can still I... see my chat going. And I'm watching it, and I'm just like, oh, there's ears. Yeah, the. Zella is wearing level 50 gear. The uh, other guy is wearing level 70. Might have to go find where the fuck you get that. I can show you. It's in Mordona. You buy the 50 gear at Poetics. Oh, is that the stuff that I got from... Like, this is the stuff you get for Claire in Dungeons. Mm, yeah. Of a certain level. I, Once you hit level 50. Yeah. I literally just got 100 of them for well, doing the last thing. Well, you're going to need a lot more than that. How this? You're simultaneously going to need a lot more than that, and you're going to have more poetics than you ever know what to do with it. It's all going to be at the same time where you don't have enough and you have too many. I have never felt more called out in my life. Poetics has a 2,000 cap. It takes more than 2,000 to buy a full set. Rude. Actually, I think it takes just under 2,000 of Bibles. I, I don't remember. I haven't done it in a while. <laughs> Music stops. Tell me. My guy, how far did you have to fucking jump from that? Very. Now, shush. This is going down at like a. Shh, class. This is a classic cutscene. <laughs> Do you believe in Eorzea? This entire dialogue is used as a shitpost by the community. Copy-paste into forms. Its city-states are built on deceit, and its faith is an instrument of deception. Oh, so the Catholics. It is not but a cobweb of lies. To believe Baptist. in Eorzea is to believe in nothing. In Eorzea, the beast tribes often summon gods to fight in their stead. Though your comrades only rarely respond in kind. Which is strange, is it not? Are the twelve otherwise engaged? I was given to understand they were your protectors. If you truly believe them, your guardians, why do you not repeat the trick that served you so well in Cartano and call them down? This is so weird because <laughs> of where I am in they this story. Will answer. So long as you lavish them with crystals and gorge them on ether. Your gods are no different from those of the beasts. Icons, everyone. Except but this. And you will see how Eorzea's faith is bleeding the land dry. 
Nor is this unknown to your masters, which prompts the question, why do they cling to these false deities? What drives even men of learning, even the great Louis Soir, to grovel at their feet? No, Lord Raelius, soon. That's that's the your that's the next one. The that's the next rights. instance. <laughs> Louis Swan, by the way, is the uh, the old Elzen dude who dies in the trailer for Rumble yeah. War. Yeah. Yeah, I figured that. I don't know if they mentioned that or not. They don't, but I can put it together. Yeah. He was the hero of that cutscene. I figure the people, the person they're talking about, who's a hero to them, is the guy. Yeah, the broken staff at the uh, in Minfilly's office is also. Yeah, I think it's his. Yeah. I can infinite context. If you do the um the binding coil or the coil of Bahamut fights, you'll get a fat lord up. Hmm, lord up. Only a man of power can rightly steer the I keep seeing the gun blaze and I just keep getting reminded of the time where someone actually did that. Yeah. And they suck. A lot. I mean the one this guy did was less. Because he didn't do it along the way. He did it perpendicularly. He's a Chinese man with What about my gun blade? Yours isn't a gun blade. Yours is a grenade launcher strapped to a great sword. among you has the power to stop me. I mean, yeah. And it glows. It'll be glowing. Because it's a relic weapon. I love that my I stream. I got 90k experience for that. That's a lot for this, uh, this level. I love that my stream shits itself every time I hit a fucking cut. <laughs> every time I hit a loading screen. It just do be like that. Because of the FPS limiter I'm using, it doesn't limit the uh, loading screens. It just limits gameplay. I think I can set it to limit loading screens though. I can link it to you. That would be nice. It is a bit of a performance hog. It's not that bad, though. As a tank, if the boss moves, then I have failed. Other than the recenterings, because there's nothing I can do about that. I used to tank in savage fights, so I take great pride in keeping the boss centered. That's fair. That was back in Stormblood. I used to tank. Tier 1 and Tier 2 of that. I used to face tank Phantom Train as a monk and get killed. Every now and then I'm like, oh yeah, I remember that. And then I'm like, yeah, that was six years ago. And I'm like, what the fuck? You see that uh that bar on the top left that's new and is counting up? Yeah, uh, that's in the middle of my screen. Oh fuck yeah! I need to move that. <laughs> Probably so you can't miss it. It's not like dead center, but it's pretty dead. Center. They're like, hey, this is a thing. I'm guessing that's the if that rage thing. That you're talking about. Yeah, if that completes, then we wipe. It's a form of, it's basically a, if you fail to kill the uh, ads in this time, then you will wipe. I needed to get away from me. Slut, you don't have right. 
Thanks. Oh, I almost died. Mm-hmm. Anyway, seven hit points is overrated, so. I'm just gonna shoot myself in the face real quick. <laughs> no, it's fine. Just shooting myself in the face to get together. I'm gonna commend this guy. The guy in the cool armor, I see. Mm hmm. I don't have a portrait for this class, unfortunately. Ooh. Meanwhile, I'm still in the cutscene, because I'm actually listening to it. <laughs> I'm gonna make a portrait real quick. Motherfucker just got tired of us and walked off. Huh? Yeah, pretty much. He's like, I'm just checking. I think everyone left the market actually in company. Yes. Did you get a chance to be a nice person? I just watched you through and I see someone coming with the fucking game. There's some fucking weird look. Going into the nape of the neck. Mm. Where are my blades? I'll cut his ass out. I'm sure exciting things are happening on your end. I'm making a portrait. That's fair. Yeah, um, where it decided to dump me after that is right in front of the thing for the next dungeon. Yup, it'll do that. <laughs> you get dumped back where you were. Yeah, how about... Oh. By the way, can you get more than 10k MP? Or is that just like... No, that's, that's just it, yeah. Okay. It used to be a thing, and they've changed it. How many, um, poetics do you have? Uh, how do I check that? Uh, click on your little gill. The little point icon next to gill. And then it's under battle. Things at the top? Uh, 450. You have enough for a piece of armor. Cool. You have 2,000. I do, that's the cap. I'm gonna go ahead and queue for the next thing. Yeah, you go for it. And then we get to see the meme. The one part that Lord Raelius knows from 14. Oh, Lord Raelius did actually point that out. It's the, oh, only, sure. the only line that Lord Raelius knows from 14. And we're just waiting on the other GPS. But now I have. I wonder if I've got the same people. That's possible. Well, one of them wasn't level 50, so. True. Portadicabedu. Portadi. Portadi's nuts. Bear witness to the true power of the Ultima Weapon. That's the line and the spiel. Don't worry, it's coming. You know it's coming. You're looking forward to it. <laughs> Nope, 
でもくれ。Still have a ninja though. He can just summon. Cool.、Mm. That's not. Burdurdurdur, burdurdurdur, burdurdurdur. Titan. <laughs> that line is actually bow down over the other Titan. I'm gonna hit that with a move, bitch. Get out the way. <laughs> A little spicy. I keep hitting the wrong fucking button. I've got my fucking、uh, region bound Q and my、uh, arrow bound to three. I keep thinking I'm hitting Q, but I'm actually hitting.、Three. It's wild how people set up their bars for stuff. Cause like, I don't use. I don't know what this mechanic is. <laughs> uh, trapped in rock. Oh, it's Hydaelyn.、Ah. Hear, feel, think, yeah. Thy foe is darkness, clad in steel. If thou wouldst triumph, thou must look to the light. Moral of the story: Get fucked in there. See, I haven't done this since they changed it, so this is new to me. Titan's essence torn from the ultimate weapon. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> no. Garuda is the easiest of fights. Go fuck it yourself. Hell yeah! Did you not stand behind the rock? Um, no. I let my health get too low, and I went to heal, and it didn't work. Hell yeah! Yeah, fuck it. We're going back over here. That worked out. The storm. So scary. Not that intimidating. We're just gonna take that. Oh, once more, yeah. This is much cooler than it was initially. Initially, you just beat the fucking icons out of them. Like literally, you just beat them out of them, which is funnier, not as thematic. Level 15. What do you think they're gonna do to me now? That. Just want you to know, I put a、uh, 10% damage reduction on that for you. <laughs> I mean, it's appreciated, but what、well, killed me still? Go.、Nope. But it makes the healing easier. It do. Yeah, I don't want to do the knockback. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna not. Yeah, I, I just. I just had a shirt ass. Yeah, I was like, I don't feel like it. Mechanics are for cars, Hong Kong. Oh, what the fuck is this circle? Oh, it's this dude's fucking dot. 
the ninjas. I put it in a weird spot, though. What the fuck does it do? It's a dot. It's just a damage over time. Ah, uh, okay. So if the boss is standing in it, you get fucked. Yeah, Gun uh, Dark Knight has this, a similar thing where their dot is a damage over time AoE. Meanwhile, I just slap mine on the boss and forget about it. I don't even have one on Gunbreaker. I just hit the boss. Your damage over time is yourself. Yeah. I was going to say Monk is like that, but Monk does have a dot. Monk actually has like really low potency attacks compared to other classes. Because Monk well, attacks, they, they attack so fast. <laughs> oh, he's getting upset, Spaghetti. Uh oh, Because you're a pleb. Can her strength? Because we have the power of uh, hope. It is the blessing. Nah, nah, nah. It's power of Ooh, God it's and anime. You. La ha hee hee. It's not that good. <laughs> also, I should have seen the twist that he's a bad guy coming because you know, he stopped showing up for a while. Mm -hmm. But so. he didn't. This is what empowers Really her. think about it? Part of the reason Thanalan's old Oz a more fun start. Limits. Oh, if you are to prevail, mm. the hammer of darkness he, must need Uld to be brought to bear upon lot. the shield of light. To the stories later on. More so than the other cities. And so it shall. For the ultimate weapon is host to a power of which you are as yet to Uldar ignorant. best star, Gritania best city. Speak plainly, Gritania's nice. Yes, you can speak plain. The heart of Sabik. It is the weapon's core, an enigma whose surface even the vaunted scholars of ancient Alec fail to scratch. The magic within has lain dormant for eons. And you're just gonna unlock it like of a fucking what lock. Magic do you speak? This elevator is really long. Without parallel. Yeah. Ultima. God, their animations have gotten better. The force of the Without parallel. For no other reason Tell that to the day. To quicken the core. For the true power of the Ultima weapon lies within its now beating heart. I don't know, man. Pulio knows how to resurrect. This seems pretty good. Oh, what have you done? <laughs> No more than was necessary for my god to be reborn. Damn you, so they also have the power of God and anime on their side. Their anime is powered by the edge. Is mm. at hand. No, that's uh, that's Behold, Dark Knight. But a sliver of my god's power. I mean, he is literally erect. He's literally like shh. Here we go. Shadows. It's time for the line. From the deepest pit of the seven hells to the very pinnacle of the heavens, the world Not shall this line. tremble. It comes up next. Unleash Ultima! Ultima, Oh, so it's just Vegeta's, uh, fucking, the uh, Vegeta sacrifice from the Fuar. Got it. It's just a big explosion. That's all it is. And we're just fucking standing there like, huh. Oh. That all you got? <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> oh, here it is. Such devastation. This was not <laughs> my intention. That's the line. Oh, shit. Such oh, devastation. We, reached, it seems we, also, the we finally reached the top of the elevator. Champion alive I think we made a top of the elevator. What strength you had left. He said Van the line. Berza, really, he's excited. Your enemy's shield is broken. He said the thing. He said the thing. 
Lawyer's like, all right, that's the all I was here for. I leave to you. I like the implication that this this elevator was about to like cross through like a train tunnel, somehow. But first, I must deal with you. The question it takes a lot of training. Is mightier remains. Come, adventurer. Let us find You're just the quiet after that. There's together. no coming back from those bad puns. No, there's not. I was just like, I don't know. I ain't got nothing for that. <laughs> were, were you there yesterday when I felt the need to apologize to you guys? Yes. Good. Because that was a bad pun. I actually felt sorry. I've never felt bad for a pun in my life, no matter how bad it is. That's fair. Let's see if I timed that right. I did! By the power of ninja, damage over time. I like this song though, this is a good song. Very faithful. Get the fuck out, motherfuckers! That ninja was just gunning for our yes. Corin does that to me sometimes when she's tanking and I'm DPSing, and she'll chase me around with tank busters to try and kill me. <laughs> Which is fair. I do that to people all the time that I know. That, that sounds hilarious. It's funny to know. I gotta say, being able to stack reach. There it is, that's the part of the song I like. Oh, he's... he's stepping him. Motherfucker! You moved away from me! I was on the thing, and I was trying to focus on killing the boss, and the motherfucker with the stack moved away from me. That's traditional in, in uh, low-level content. It's tradition for Sprouts to run away with the stack marker and die. It, oh god, this way to do the uh, 24 man that you need to do next. It is so fucking common, and it is really fun. Ooh, spicy. The spicy me food. That ninja's lucky stuff in this fight just doesn't hit that hard. Ow. That looks like it hurt. A little bit. Now I went down. And you're dead. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Thankfully we have someone who can revive. Oh, that poor ninja. He's... I'll get you in a minute, buddy. Uh, you need... You may not be getting him in a minute. I thought that raid could do a lot more damage because it used to hit so hard. <laughs> I'm having a great time watching y'all three scramble around for safety. Run away. Motherfucker. Don't bother me none. Woo, that looks like it hurt. Better heal yourself. I'm working on it. I'm out of fucking mana. Drink a mana potion. Don't have any on my fucking hot. You can use stuff out of your inventory in combat. I went down. Damn it. Hell yeah. <laughs> you do have a skill that regen, uh, speeds up mana regen. I don't remember what it's called, though, because I don't remember the names of things. I have that in vulnerability. Mm -hmm. I'm just over here doing. 
hope when I get healed. Knowing that I won't. I respect that. I respect what the ninja did. He knew. <laughs> that guy looked at that and went, no. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take it for the team. Fuck <laughs> I was trying to I'm trying to get the revive. Always heal first, revive last. I thought it's still a spawn pick. No, as soon as you hit up anything other than movement, it goes away. This is great. Oh, <laughs> This is so much fun. What? Can no, this is just do? yeah, it's just fucking hilarious. Even even Louis just like yeah, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this this is where I die. <laughs> yup. <laughs> Not for long. You're gonna have to quick res me first. <laughs> or I just redeemed killed in here as NPC. We're working on that. Potion. Ah! Damn it. I was trying to fucking. I drank a health potion. It didn't help. <laughs> no, you, you should use the mana potion. I drank the health potion because I was low on HP. Yeah, they, they don't do dick. Hold on here. Count out five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> At the risk of being a dick, the absolute fucking difference between what I was doing earlier and this. Yeah, but now you know that those lines really fucking hurt. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, my face is actually like sore from the fucking grin that I have right now. Oh man. <laughs> are you ready for this? Oh god, what are you doing? Only nice things. Honestly, I appreciate the way that these sprouts are trying their best, you know? They came into this fight unprepared. And you know what? It's just, you know, they, they're trying their best. And they're really giving it their all. And you gotta respect that, you know? It's, it's, it, when you're not, not going to be a touchdown, but you know, when you're gonna, gonna play some football. <laughs> the nice ooh, -woo, you fucker. <laughs> I, I love that Louie is also just like, yeah, this is hilarious. Listen, you don't, you don't come into this instance and expect the Sprouts to know what the fuck is going on. To be fair, this is probably the craziest one they've had. So it is! They had one where it's literally just like, hey, you can't move, and it's constantly on fire. This is. It is the hardest one they throw at you. But they will Please. only get harder. Yeah, but people will also only get harder. Mm. That's actually, that's just not true. <laughs> that's just not accurate. I can dream, damn it. Listen, I mean, you might get better, but I can tell you that a lot of players do not know how to play. Oh, God, the ninja. He's, he's getting off lucky on that one. Ow. I was out of the fucking way. Yeah, uh... Ooh, you're not getting out of the way of that one. Ooh, you barely... I, I assume you figured out that, like, if the AoE disappears while you're still in it, you're fucked. Yeah. Yeah, I figured that out. I've had that figured out for a little while. But also, the awesome. netcode is kind of shit, so sometimes it just doesn't yeah. matter. Sometimes you get fucked. Yeah. Dropping a fucking... I would just group region. That's what I've been doing. I've been trying to keep up Medica too. Because mm -hmm. it's fucking group heal. Yes, there's a lot of there's a lot of raid wise going out. Times like these make me glad I'm a mod for you, so you don't just ban uh -huh. me. 
Why would I ban you for utilizing the things I have given you at your disposal? That would just be a dick move. Oh no. These must not do that much damage, because that ninja was just standing under it. Yeah, I don't think they do. JK, you would ban me anyways. No, you never know. <laughs> I didn't realize it. I do think... Yeah. I do think I have a ban, uh, a ban hammer fat cat emote. It's not on the channel, obviously, but... Uh, that reminds me, um... My girlfriend, uh, she's an artist, she does, um... She does the emotes for, uh, friend of ours. Mm -hmm. Fucking, she just made two of them. Ow! Well... If I wanna... cast the heal on me. <laughs> yeah, Maybe a benediction. Actually, I, I forgot I had to. You're gonna want to keep that in mind. It didn't matter. You can move that to a better spot. Can I have it on spot? second bar one, because all I have to do is hit control one to use it. Yeah. Need, need more fat cap emotes in general? Well, then more people need to subscribe so I can get more emo slots. That's how that works. I I've got my I've got all my stuff set up to be on bar one is basic and then Ooh, is your thing gonna hold out? Mm, it's not, you better you better get moving. I'm curious if, if we're about to die. Uh, I don't know, that cast bar may be in rage. It, it looks like it in rage, yeah. Okay, good, we beat in rage. <laughs> oh, that was fun. The, yeah, the palms are sweaty. I am literally one minute. <laughs> I'm gonna commend this person, because they were a really good sport. I got a commendation. Yeah. I deserve that. <laughs> you do. You do deserve a commendation. I'm definitely doing the healing DPS that we had, not the ninja. They were a uh, chat. Oh, they already left, I think. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn it. Gotta watch the cutscenes. Ah, don't worry about it. It's fine. Eventually, I'll be able to find people. Eventually. I'm curious where you get spat out at. We'll find out. Yeah. Dude, I officially got map. taunt to get bodied combo. <laughs> the only true combo. That was fun. I like the part where everyone yeah, died. Left grass off. Fucking hilarious. Me struggling and panicking because I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Uh, at the, at the risk of being a dick. A hundred times longer. Yeah, I, funny as hell to watch. I'm over here to like, yeah, I'm gonna run this expert. It's easy as shit. And it's over here just like, blah, 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 instinct, instinct, instinct. And I'm just like, yeah, none of this is hard. This is all pretty basic. And then I come to th <laughs> this and everyone's fucking dying. Okay, to be fair, to be fair, doing it like that, you at least know what you're getting into. Yeah, I also spent like an hour and a half learning, <laughs> learning that fight on Sunday. All right, let's see where it spits me out. I'm curious. I bet it's going to be more Dona. Well, wherever it spits me out, it's currently on fire. Hmm. Oh, hey, it's a prick. Let's see. Yeah, you're not in the free company. You can't. I was going to be like, oh, I'll use my normal methodology of spying on location. gonna fly to Mordona. I, I'm genuinely curious where it's gonna spit you out. Skill issue, my guy. I don't know if Pulio is checking his chat. Why? You checking your chat, Pulio? I've been trying to, but I've also been trying to fucking read. <laughs> Motherfucker! 
How dare you throw shade at me? Just because I have no people fucking watching me most of the time. Israeli is throwing shade in your chat. And I quote, so what's it feel like being in a collab with a successful streamer? What does he mean by that? <laughs> I am in the top 10% of streamers because I made it to affiliate. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, nice. Got six whole viewers. You know, I'm in the big leagues now. I mean, to be fair, it's more than my average. A, a dead ass was averaging like three viewers, and then I started doing VTuber, and that doubled immediately. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be real, dude. The only people I watch anymore are VTubers. It's, the, it's so much more fucking interesting. To, to quote someone else, it's the meta. Fair. I mean, I, to be fair, if we were strictly following the meta, we would both have big titty VTuber avatars. Yeah, Which, but I don't. I, mean, I don't have big titty VTuber yeah. avatar voice. Neither do I. I'm still gonna have a fucking pretty. <laughs> you, you think not you having have, your voice is gonna fucking stop me? The protogen model has a slider for boot plate. It also has a slider for buff. The one that I downloaded, not this one. The one I'm fucking with. But also, like, there's a dude who has a voice deeper than the fucking Mariana's trench with a goth VTuber cheek. And the guy's funny as hell. I don't think I could pull it off. Mm. Mm. Dude does a lot of sass. Did you see my plan for upgrading my avatar? I have not. Oh, I've seen this. This is great. Send it to him. Send it to him. Where the fuck are you? In a cutscene. It's a long cutscene. Oh, God. <laughs> That's fucking quality. That's fucking quality right there. Oh, yeah, I've got a whole bunch of 3D modeling projects I need to work on. Uh, but right now, I'm trying really hard to find a job. So I'm just applying this stuff. Uh, they just promoted someone at work who uh, f tried to frame another employee for oh. stealing and get him fired. So naturally now he's just, now he's store manager at one of the locations, which is bullshit. <laughs> but you know, it's whatever. In the arena. What? I'm still in the fire. I've got to talk to La Habraha. Oh yeah, you. Oh yeah, you have, I think you have a That's fight with, duty. you have a fight with La Ha Hee Hee. Wait, is it actually another duty? It's another d unable to commence. I think it's so. I think it's solo. No, it's not. Or while in a party. This is a solo fight. Yeah. Well, damn. Now we're uh, just gonna have to. Here, I know what we're gonna do. So you, yeah. <laughs> I know how to resolve this. Are we just gonna do it at the same time? No. I'll, no. Sure, we can. We can race. <laughs> yeah. Race. It was that's a, funny. It's the chrysalis, yeah. Um. No, that's a different fight. Comm uh, duty calls. Commence battle for quote the ultimate weapon. Uh, level fifty, item of sixty. I think that's just a uh, hold on. I'm just gonna pull up your stream and look. God, this is jank. I mean, I can go into it. What is that? It's duty. My curiosity is peaked. I have no idea what I'm getting into. I don't either. All I know is I'm about to kick this pompous white-haired prick's ass. But we are gonna watch. I'm gonna watch it. That's what I'm gonna do. I should land because my goddamn bird is flapping. Ah, uh, yes, watching me do the thing. And judging you. Obviously. This is the level of live stream that I'm willing to do. It's just. This is the level of stupid I'm willing to do. This is, this is literal shit posting live stream. Yes! Listen, I started this live stream with my goddamn uh, fucking half my scenes not working because the fucking program I used was in maintenance mode. 
Yeah, this is just a solo instance. Okay. Uh, apparently, it's called Devastation. I have an hour to beat this guy. It's not going to take that long, game. Yeah, that's a different thing. I don't know, man. Your DPS looks pretty low there. Have you considered uh, stepping it up a notch? I'm not a DPS class. I'm a healer. Okay. All right. Well, you got you got to go ahead and refresh that dot, and then go ahead and swift cast a stone on him. Actually, I should do presence of mind. And I'll put a region on yourself. <laughs> Fucking fireball sh Can I please target? Oh, I can't target them yet. Yeah, you're also standing in a danger zone. It's all danger. <laughs> Ow. It wasn't that bad. It was only 600 damage. Yeah. Danger Fuck zone. <laughs> Highway to the Ooh, better keep danger scooting. zone. I love that I'm watching this in silence because if I unmute it, it's just going to be both of us talking on my stream and also yep. talking on my stream, and I'm not prepared to address that. Fuck off, buddy. Just... Can you fucking not have a holy? God, this is going to take so long because <laughs> you have the basic 50 gear. Yeah, it's over here, I think. At least I can read this shit. Some people can't. It's impressive. Some people can't read. I can't read. I don't know what words are. They're really confusing. Fuck you. I've got sure cast. I need to refresh my DOT. You've got this. Do the thing. Do the do. If you do the thing. And you do it right. And you don't fuck it up. Yeah. As long as you just, works. you know. Stand here and stone this guy to death. Ah, oh, so um, he's if, a witch in the 1650s. If only you had a fucking DPS at 15. This wouldn't take 45 minutes. Instead, it'd take five. <laughs> I love that they give you, like, fucking 60 minutes. Like, hell yeah. <laughs> How bad do they think the players are? Have you met the average player? Yes. I've run 24 mans with them. They're terrible. Listen, I've I've run savages with them. That's true pain. Oh god, that's so oh god. <laughs> Fucking bad flashbacks. It's having nom flashbacks. Oh, building quick. I spent a fucking hundred hours trying to beat a goddamn savage fight because the fucking player base is so shit. <laughs> it took forever to find a party that could fucking rub enough brain cells together to generate heat. I, I recommend. Dude, I would appreciate it if you don't. Putting a dot on all three of them. Nah, that's fair. This is gonna hurt. Been chained. I'm curious what's gonna happen here. Because it looks like you're about to die. Yeah, probably. He's gonna make me into Jesus. Jesus. He's a crucifixion, you I actually bet you're about to have a goddamn um Oh shit. Action. He's doing a Frieza. You might be about to mash your keyboard. Oh, you broke free. And then died. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> Maybe you need some gear. <laughs> it's probably because your weapon's I super low level. It's, uh, it, actually, what is my weapon? It's 49, I, I looked. It's, uh, it's only one level lower. It, that makes a big difference. Did you not get a weapon when you got your armor? No. That's weird. I, I got the weapon with the previous quest. Or, I actually, mean, it might have been. You'll be fine. Look, why is it pulsing? Ah, uh, you'll be fine. Oh, that was supposed to happen, apparently. No, I would have uh, I would have smashed all of the fire things and been fine. Yes, you're a DPS. <laughs> <laughs> you're a 
a DPS and or a tank. I am a healer. I, I am a white mage. I have white mage at 90. White mage used to be my primary healer. Now it's sage yeah, because sage is pew pew healing. I mean, to be fair, it does have the motherfucking laser beams. Hmm, 74%. <laughs> Somebody send help. He's bullying you. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, Laha Ray really is bullying you. It's pretty rude. Anyways, on Saturday, I'll be continuing my Fallout 4 playthrough with Heavy <laughs> Weapons Guy. I don't know what's going to happen, but it is going to involve drinking lots of water due to copious chem overdose. Currently, I think the Heavy Weapons Guy is addicted to two chems, which I don't think is in the base game, so that's exciting. Concern? They're just gonna shoot lasers in my general direction. Yeah. Uh, no, no, they're just gonna explode. And then they're gonna shoot lasers. Yeah. What? You know, as you do. Oh, you're doing more damage now. It's sped up. Damn, it's sped up. Oh. I was hitting five instead of T. I literally just followed a guy and was just like, hey, what does these do? And apparently that's how they had it set up. And I'm just like, yeah, it'll work. It's really not that complicated. If you read the skills, the, most guides are for people that no, don't, uh, don't read. Lines. Oh, I just use one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I use one, two, three, and then a bunch of fucking letters. I've had people tell me that my keybinds are cancer and it makes them... It causes them physical pain, oh, oh. and I'm just like, whatever. Were you there whenever I was talking about the dude with the awful keybinds that I saw? No. Dude walked forward with fucking right click in an FPS game. I right, I, I walk around with right click in this game. Yeah, but you can do that in this game. It's That's, a base feature. Actually, I have it set so that I have to click both mouse buttons to walk around. It comes up a lot in fights because I don't have enough time to take my fingers off the attack buttons to move. I'm using one finger on WASD and Q and E in order to move, and then, <laughs> then all of my other fingers are doing DPS. And then That's I'm fair. using the mouse to steer. <clears throat> Monk. I've thought about putting it, you know they have those this key way. trackers, it, tracks, it shows your keyboard inputs on screen. I've thought about running yeah. that when I'm running fights so people could just see the fucking shitload of button presses. I was gonna say. Fuck your fucking knockback bullshit. I got sure cast. There's people at level 90 that don't know that's a fucking thing. It's fucking useful. It's great. The one for uh, oh, tanks and melees, uh, it also pr uh, hits a slow to anyone that hits him while it's up. Oh, that's good shit. <clears throat> so it's useful during tanking in dungeons. Go down, you bastard. You're at 1% one HP. 1 HP. There we go, Jesus. <laughs> you did it. I'm so proud of you. I'm not. This took a while. If only you had a fucking weapon. I have a weapon. If only you had a real goddamn weapon. <laughs> I have a stick with a bell in it. There's a I stick that's a, a tree with a screaming tree head. That's at least more interesting. Time to use the power of your tail clipping through your coat. There's an awful lot of power there. Oh shit. By the power of colors, I have a sword. Oh, no, I haven't. I... Oh, it's again. I haven't seen this cutscene, so this is all new to me. Because all of this has been overhauled. Sweet. Ah, too bad Thancred dies. I have seen him in yours and stuff. I know that ain't fucking true. I, no, he dies. Or maybe it's someone else. No, no, he I definitely dies. I watch you and like one other person who plays Final Fantasy. I think we definitely dies. 
Well, he, he definitely, uh, definitely kills him. How much do you think that thing's worth? Crystal? Yeah. Dollar? Maybe two? <laughs> it's worth at least one non-existent. By the power of friendship. And also this gun that I found. <laughs> when you complete a rum report, it's, it's a fucking screaming. <laughs> this is so <laughs> wild looking at because this is new, so the animations are like some of the animations are old and some of them are new. Because they've gotten way fucking better animating. <laughs> Strange blend of questionable and good. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like my entire existence. No, I tend to lead more on the questionable part. My soul has been cleansed, child. Go and do it in once more. Stupid Thagrid. Stupid sexy Thagrid. <laughs> Come on, shift for brains, let's get out of the exploding fire. I think you'll find the fire is not exploding. This is a facility. I mean, there's, a, there's an awful lot of explosions, an awful lot of fire, and I'm having a difficult time distinguishing between the two. Causation and correlation are not the same thing. Yes, but consider the following. My brain is so smooth that even insults glide off. You think this shit's gonna stick? No. But at least <laughs> you got your friendly mech back. Friendly neighborhood mech warrior. You, you do just get as a mount after this. Sweet. Probably not gonna use it because I like the chocobo. Yeah, but you haven't gotten armor for your chocobo yet. Yeah. By the way, when you um level up your chocobo eventually, I don't know if you've unlocked that yet, where you can have your chocobo fight yeah. with you. Yeah. I had him out earlier. Whichever tier, whichever skill tree you get it to the end of first, you get an armor set for, and you don't get one for the other two. So you might want to check which one's armor set you like. Which one's cool? Mm-hmm. He went to Kaboom. Except he totally did back there. It's hard to be spoiler free on a game that's ten fucking years old. If you don't see a corpse, they didn't die. Yeah. That's just the How many times am I gonna hear this fucking phrase? Here feel think. I'm dead. Pretty much I'm not dead after my this. Are shot and my brain is smooth. You I did... can't do any of those. I think this is pretty much the last time. You said that, and I was like, all right, I better sit up straight. <laughs> I, it, that kind of shit's like when my buddy of mine, uh, he likes to be annoying and say, you are now manually breathing. I know you can do this. I do. That doesn't bother me. <laughs> it bothers a lot of my friends. <laughs> Hell yeah, he says that. What about licking your lips and thinking about how your lips are dry? My lips were dry before you said that, and I was literally licking them as you said that. Yeah. I don't know, man. You lick your own face. It's kind of gross. Still better than what dogs do. That's why I lick other people's faces. <laughs> <laughs> much, much more sanitary. Just hit them with a fucking bottle of bleach and then lick their face. <laughs> oh, God, it burns. <laughs> There's no logic to that sentence. It's just a series of words I thought of in an order. 
Oh god. There... That reminds me of some of the bullshit quotes that we got out of my fucking cyberpunk game. <laughs> Yay, you did it! <laughs> You've almost done it. God, there's so much fucking cutsy. <laughs> guys god there's so much content the problem is i know where my face has been i know where my face has been too my face has been places i don't like some of those places i tend to wash my face they're like oh god sid exists Oh, real quick. Um, I figured out, or I, I went and looked it up. I knew I had heard Sid's voice from somewhere. Mm -hmm. Turns out it's a lot of places. Mm -hmm. it, uh, is like, he's fucking the main character in Higurashi. He's a couple characters in Naruto. Yo. Fucking, what, uh, the baseball player was named Leon in, uh, I like that if you look at most of the voice casts for Realm Reborn, their only credit for voice acting is a Realm Reborn. Nothing else. Because some of them sucked. That's fair. Like Alpha Note. <laughs> oh, yes, Tits McGee. Their stupid f fucking outfit. The sports I mean, bra with it, extra shit on it. It that has literally what it is. But on the bright side, it could be worse. It could be the bunny girls walking around in a bikini. Yeah. And it's not even the summer event right now. Also, it's an assless skirt. I just saw that. Yeah. She's wearing like tights with a thong. What's up, motherfuckers? There you is. I'm gonna call for a badass. You did it. Yay. I'm so proud of you. Yay. They are both pointing. Oh, that makes me sad. Someone pointed out, like, at one time, like, just how young the characters look in this versus they do now. Uh, do they all just look like they've aged a thousand years because of fucking stress and battle? Kind of? It's like looking at a president, it's like looking at a president before they go into office versus after they come out, and it's just like, good God, how did or and Their or outfits also change a lot. 60. I remember I saw uh, the before and after for a while, and I'm just like, good lord, the man aged 40 years in four. For who? Eight. Obama. Obama, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, it's the credits. I'm just waiting for one that says soaking so I can start cheering. This is probably, like, um, what's his name? He's probably the best voice actor they have in this first stuff. Yeah, he's gone after this. Oof, he's the best one, though. Unless they already had him revoice this stuff. Maybe. I don't know. Here, if I unmute it, I'll know. Here, if I unmute it, I'll know. Threat. Nevertheless. <laughs> But, I, think, um, I think they did have him go back and re-record those already. But neat. Fair enough. Wait. Uh, yeah, his voice reminds me of someone, and I have no idea who it is. Ah, that's definitely a French guy in that list. For guys, Van Belsar. There was a Philippe. <laughs> Philippe Dumont. Gabriel Littles. Ah, ha, he, he. 
No one takes Law Hopper here seriously. A, He's so stupid. It's, such a, it's a fucking stupid name. Now you get to do the post ARR, and then you get to do Heaven's Word. Yeah. I love Heaven's Word. I've heard good things. It's overshadowed now by uh, Shadowbringers and Endwalker, but it was really good. Yeah. I've heard a lot of good shit about fucking Shadowbringers. Mm -hmm. And Stormblood is the worst. It just is. It's it's not as bad now, but like playing through it when it was current, it sucked. Is it content drought? It's super hard. And they got tied up in bad project management during um, that, and one of the main features for that expansion ended up sucking up a shitload of time and ended up getting delayed by six months. And so there ended up being a massive content drought for Stormblood. Ah, so what I'm hearing is they fell victim to some cost fallacy. Just like, instead of, you know, getting rid of this, putting it off for later, we've put so much money in this, we have to do it. They also, I think that was a period where Square Enix needed a work for a lot of people. So they had a lot of guests come in and do stuff, and you can see the fucking drop in quality. Because, like, they had the guy from Tactics come in and write the stuff for the, um... 24 man in Stormblood. And it is fucking garbage. Hot or smoldering? I let me put it this way. The quest line to get into the third 24 man is two hours start to finish before you get into the goddamn instance. Oh. It's two hours of fucking nonstop dialogue cutscene, no voice acting. I skipped it. I didn't give a fuck. I don't give a shit if Tactics is some people's favorite game. That man can't write. <laughs> but they also had the a guy who developed Nier come in and do the 24 man for, for uh, Shadowbringers, and that rate so fucks. Good shit. It's so good. Uh, speaking of um, speaking of good writing, uh, I've been obsessed with the Dresden Files recently. I love the Dresden That's Files. Some good shit. I'm on book three. It's such schlock, though. Like, it is it is such it is, trash. And it it's, is low-tier trash, but it's the best it low-tier trash. I was talking with my friends about it last night, and they were just like, oh, God. Oh, that's disgusting, because I was talking about um, vampires, the Falcon God, like, mm. narcotic spit. It's such a weird universe. It's a weird universe, but at the same time, it's so fucking cool. Imagine it's so compelling. Shit. So I have a feeling you and I would have a lot of really fun conversations and make a lot of horrible jokes. So of <laughs> here's here's a fun pop quiz for you. Of the three city state leaders who are up there, which one do you think is the most popular with the community? With the community? Mm -hmm. Probably Ruban. No. Really? Mm -hmm. Is it uh, the chick on the right, whose name I don't know? Yeah. I don't know any other names except for Ruban. I know Rabon. It's Rabon. Oh. That's why they pronounced it Ruban. I knew her name, uh, but it's also 1158, and I forgot it when I started the, sa the sentence. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it like so five that's, minutes ago. So that's that quality on that was, this. Now. Yeah. That was then. She's just got a fucking double barrel shotgun. It's, it's Mira Webb. That's her name. Ah. Basically around that time where people were like, well, you know, buff chicks are actually kind of hot. When that started rising up in popularity on the internet, that's when people were like, well, yeah, Mira Webb's pretty fucking great. <laughs> Oh, like, at least in that outfit. She's not even that buff. She's just like... She's pretty average. She's, she's actually... Oh. I think she's like s small height for a uh, Rodigan as well. Most she's of the NPCs are, are low height, actually. I don't know if you've noticed that. I think that's so the players can just tower above everybody. I think it's because they're meant to be average. I also like oh, Robon is like the lankiest goddamn male Rodigan. Yoshi P. <laughs> I'm just waiting for it. 
Yeah, Naoki Yoshida. Yoshibi. <laughs> Fucking love this game. I mean, I'm having fun with it. Have you been enjoying the story? Uh, yeah. There's people that have skipped the entire story. And I was talking to them, I'm like, that's why. And they're like, I don't give a fuck about yeah. it. I'm like, okay, but story is most of the game. They're like, not in my opinion. I'm like, okay, but that your opinion doesn't matter. They spent most of their time developing the story. A significant portion of the money you spent on this game gets invested into the story, which you skipped. And they're like, well, I don't view it that way. And I'm like, that's, that's not how this works. It, my dude, your opinion does not matter in this case. This is facts. Yeah. Most of the money goes towards the fucking story. Yeah, the way this has been I best described and the way I best describe it to people is it's a JRPG that happens to be an MMO. It's not an MMO that happens to be an RPG. No, it's a JRPG that I mean, happens to be an MMO. It's definitely what it feels like. And it's Especially one of the notes. Like, it's just a lot of God murder from what I've seen. And this one you're in you're in the weakest part of the story. Yeah, I've been told. And I'm still having a blast. So when does Lahi play? <laughs> Whatever you want, my guy. YouTube's a thing. <laughs> also, Lahi plays in Shadowbringers, uh, which is two expansions away from where Pulio is. Pulio has to do Heavensward, then Stormblood. The question is, is Pulio going... I mean, you do need to do the 24-man next. Yeah, you need to do the Crystal Tower series next. Partially because that's required to progress past a certain point. You have to do that one. Yeah, um... Yeah, uh, back with the whole, uh... I skipped the story thing. Uh, apparently, Joe Cat skipped the story. He did. He had a whole video talking about how he skipped the story yeah. the first time. Yeah. And then, like, yeah, he had a coming to Jesus moment where he went back and rewatched the entire thing and was like, oh my god, this is one of the greatest stories of all time. How the fuck oh, did I miss this? I, <laughs> I think it's because a Rumor Born used to be super jank. And also, it used to, from here to the end of a Realm Reborn, it used to drag so hard. Like you, yeah. It would take from, longer to get from here to Heavensward than it would take to get from levels one to here. Damn. Yeah, I heard that it was bloated, but damn. Yeah, it was it, because they were stalling. I mean, fair. They were stalling for dev time. I don't really blame them. But when does Lahi with the guy singing it play? That's the real question, yeah. But yeah, the, um... A Realm Reborn was fucking cursed, too. It's post-story. Because, like, they released the raids in the wrong order because they just, they couldn't, they weren't getting them ready in time. So, like, when one of them came out, the, the there was a gear path where you're supposed to do one raid, then the next, then the next, and the next. That didn't fucking happen. That didn't, that didn't fucking happen. So when uh, one of the, the raid, the first raid that did come out was supposed to have one that came before it that you're supposed to gear off of. <laughs> so no one had like, the fucking gear. So it was like, just scuffed. We don't have the first thing ready, so here you go. Have fun with the slog. Yes. <laughs> and basically they were playing recovery all the way through A Realm Reborn, so it was it was a lot of stalling. It's good. I mean, it it's still a good end. story, but like it was a lot of stalling. That's the part I got stalled out on. Like, I I did the main story, got, like, halfway through it, and then I fucked off level three classes to 60. Fucking leveled a bunch of gathering and crafting back when that used to take literal months to do. Uh, and then about halfway through Heavensward, I actually got back up to Heavensward and got current. I mean... So I started playing in A Realm Reborn, and then I didn't actually get to Heavensward until halfway through Heavensward. <laughs> Which did mean I got to do a lot of this, this like a Realm Reborn stuff when it was still current. Like Titan, <laughs> oh my fucking god, they had to nerf Titan fight. like seven times. <laughs> Titan wasn't really that hard. No, 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 no. The the next time it comes around, there's Titan Extreme and Titan Hard, and they were so fucking hard. I mean, 
if you're gonna use the word extreme, you better earn that shit. The way the tiers work in terms of challenge for raids, you have the normal modes, like normal mode, and that will be the normal mode 8-man, the normal mode 24-man. They are currently training towards the normal mode 24-man being a little bit harder than the normal mode 8-man, but just a little bit. Then, but you also have the, the normal mode trials. The trials are the easiest, typically. Then you get into the raids of normal modes. And then you above the normal modes, you have the trial extremes. And then above that, you have savage. And then above that, you have ultimate. Ah. There is a weird spot in between savage and ultimate, though, which is like side savage content. Uh, some of which I've done, some of which I haven't, just because I, it, I haven't had the time to invest in it. But um, be like that. there is a thing in Boja, which is a Shadowbringers uh, content, which is, uh, it's, I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't know anyone that knows how to pronounce it, so we all just call it DA. But it's DA Savage, and it is a 48-person Savage instance. And if you die, you're out. And it takes two to three hours to run the whole Jesus. instance. So if you die at any point in that, you're done. Bye, have fun with it. Yeah, like you use a uh, a thing called a re-raiser because the the normal res is locked out. So you use a thing called a re-raiser, and it has a seventy percent no, I think it's a sixty five percent chance of resing you if you go down. Jesus. And if you go down, then the healers can carry an item that has a chance to res you, or someone can use an item that will just kill them and res you instead. What the fuck? It's, it Who is, thought this was a good idea? It is hard as nails, and I have beaten it, and it was it was really fun. I have the special mount from it, too. That just... Oh, God, that sounds awful. Mm -hmm. It was great. I, I loved it. the first 10 minutes. Yeah, probably. <laughs> you also, like... <laughs> It's you have to prep for it too because it's not standard. So you have uh, a thing called a, this holster, in which you carry additional special items that are from that Poja content, and that um, you use those. Like uh, some are stat boost, some are like, oh, boss is doing this, do this. You hit this button. Oh, I, it's this whole I litany of things. Yeah, you just skip them. I didn't know I could fucking the skip the credits. The fuck is that on the bottom of your screen? Oh, I don't know. That meteor survivors thing, by the way, that's everyone who um was there at the end of the game. Oh yeah, the people who were mm -hmm. there at the end of the game, and yeah, fighting it off and all that shit. That's such a fucking cool story to hear too. It is. There's a, a no clip documentary on it. It's like it's two hours. It's worth watching though. We watched it, I think, four times when I was playing through the um. Endwalker story because I kept my fucking graphics card was actively dying and it would crash and it would dump me out of game and there was I shit you not a three hour queue to get into game so Damn. I we would just sit there and every time I'd get dumped out we would watch the fucking documentary again till I got back in <laughs> all of those streams are saved by the way on my YouTube channel there's like three hours of me just fucking crying. <laughs> oh shit. This is the Dark Ether storyline. <laughs> That's a fucking cod reference for you. Yeah, That's the same crystal. It has been inflict inflicted? It has been inflicted with the bad tummy. Oh, shit. Yes, bad things happening. They released a Frenchman. They're like, what the f yeah, They're like, what the now. fuck was that? <laughs> I don't actually remember what this is. Oh yeah, another primal. I don't remember the order because, like I said, it's been nine fucking years. Which one was it? Where's it? 
Let's pick the end. I guess we've got more down on. Has you already taken over another body? Jesus Christ. You have officially beaten Jesus' respawn time. Well, you never know. Be camping out with you in chat while you were fighting your way through all the crashes at like 4 a.m. Yeah, yeah, Corrine was, ab was fucking there. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning. I've got like maybe an hour worth of story left, and I'm just waiting to get back into the game for the fifth time in a, like that day. It was, it, was, it was rough. I don't like the implications. Just because it was entirely because my graphics card just was fucking dying, like, constantly. Mm, these guys have different names. Interesting. That one's got boobs. I wonder if this is an actual con language or just being basic gibberish. It's gibberish. I think. I don't know. Have you, have you looked into, like, how con language are made? That shit's made. No. It's crazy. Uh, if you make a proper con line, there's like years of work that go into it. Also, Jesus, there's a lot of these fuckers. Mm hmm. Game's like, oh, yes, you did it. You beat La Havre. And then it's like, mm hmm. Yeah, here's the rest of them. That was 40 more. I would have fucking laughed if it had said if it had just said to Sephiroth, like Jesus Christ, they can't leave that guy alone. There's Sephiroth. <sighs> He's a primal you fight in uh, Heaven's Word. It's a side content thing. It's not part of the main story. He looks nothing Heather like Sephiroth. No I call bullshit. You clearly haven't seen a nine bang. <laughs> oh, it's been me out. In oh. Yeah. Wow, look at all those quests you gotta do. You mean all those quests I'm not going to do? All those quests you get to do. <laughs> I will do them on a different class. What the I'm fuck is RGX? What the fuck is that? I don't know. Oh, that's an opera thing. It's like, um, D down scale. Is it insane? It's a lot of points. What's the fucking point of that? Uh, I can look it up. It's stupid. I mean, I see it, but it's stupid. Just so many cutscenes. Uh, it is a free video and image sharpening technology. Sounds dumb. Yeah, it is. It launched at the end of last year. Sounds dumb. It is. I have 71 alerts. I'm gonna read none. Oh shit. Fantasia. Oh yeah, they forgot they just give you a Fantasia. And, and a, key. a key. That keys to the uh oh, flying up. The I was wondering when I'd give that. Yeah. The mount speed increased everywhere. Back in my day you didn't get to fly in a realm reborn. <laughs> Back in my day, flying was introduced in Heaven's Word. I will grab the next quest. I'm not doing this quest right now. You're like that was a lot of cutscenes. Yeah, you do want to? Do you want to grab a recurring problem though? Was it? Uh, any? I mean, listen, man. Any quest with a blue and a plus, you just want to grab it. That's fair. Anyways, right. how was Orm Vale? Or have you not done Orm Vale? I don't think I've ball. I don't. I don't know. Gory knows what I'm getting at. Ormvale is the last dungeon you get before 50, but it's also not a main story dungeon. Ah, so I probably didn't fucking do it then. And it'll also chew you the fuck up and spit you the fuck out. Hope I'm tasty. It used to be, they've nerfed it. It used to be so bad that, like, people would queue, they'd see it's Orem Vale when they load in, and they would just eat the 30 minute penalty and leave. Damn. Mm hmm. 
Mm. Ain't having that shit. Pretty much, they're just like, mm, you know, it'll be faster to sit through a 30 minute fucking timeout. It would be. It'll be, faster, it'll be faster and more fun to sit through that time. I don't know, Ormvale's a hoot. Apparently not if they kept fucking leaving. Ah, that's because they're cowards. Are they going to try and reforge the fucking staff? No. I, I just see it zoom in, and I, as I'm half reading it, I'm just like, are they going to reforge that? Oh, fuck. I don't think that's how weapons work. Especially not magic. I need to replay through this, but also I don't want to. Fucking there. It's because I have new stuff to do. Didn't fucking Endwalkers just come out like a week ago? A patch did. The expansion came out last year. In uh, last oh. uh, December? Yeah. Shows what I know. Mm -hmm. Which means that we're about a year out before the next expansion. Basically, you'll have enough time to... to catch up in time to, for the next expansion to happen. So what I'm hearing is that I have one year to get to the next expansion. Let's go. Pretty much. It's not that hard to do. I don't doubt that. You skip all I'll the cutscenes, you can do it in like a month. <laughs> don't do that. It's a waste of time. That's a bad idea. It's a waste of time, a waste of a good story. It's good soup. Yeah, because you've got, oof, you've got crafters and gatherers, you have other classes, you've got fucking grand company to rank to up. I have, I have been ranking up a grand company. You have beast like, tribes. Do you even know I about yet? Have, I, I, I do have the first uh, beast tribe stuff. I got the sylphs. There is, so here's a pro tip for beast tribes in a realm reborn. Get them to rank four and then stop. Get all of them to rank four and then a special quest will show up and you do it and they'll get them all to rank eight after you complete that Damn. one quest. Yeah. Yeah. And then if you want to carry on the storyline, you can continue ranking them up manually. The only one I did the, uh, did the full storyline with was the um, Ixel. Ah, the lizard people. The TLDR on that is you discover that Ixels are actually the ones that invented airships. And that Lalafell stole the uh, technology from them, and... That sounds like a fucking Lalafell. It's just fucking yeah. Lalafell shit right there, man. Yeah, Lalafells are like... Lala. That's something I didn't tell you at first. I'm like, yeah, man, Lalafells are just, like, mostly evil. <laughs> like, you can't trust those little, little bastards. The, the small potato exterior behind the mm -hmm. terrifying sinister Meanwhile, my friends are just fucking shit. Yeah, go to Uldah. Not Uldah. Yeah. That's... <laughs> no, go to um, Mordona. The only ARR one I've done is Ixel because I needed it for a triple triad achievement. Yeah, that's fair. I like the story for Ixel, though. It's pretty fun. But it is an absolute bitch for crafting because you have to wear a fucking set of gimp gauntlets that nerf your crafting uh, stats into the fucking ground. That used to be the case. I don't know if that's still the case, but that was the case for a long time. Now go to Mordona. You can just teleport from inside. Oh, Mordona. Oh, it's this place. I've been here. Yeah. Go there. Are you just gonna pull some bullshit? Dude? No. Oh, that person's on the new cat. I want that. Okay, follow me. Okay. Actually, if you right-click on uh, someone's name, you can hit follow. I am doing the... Oh, yeah, this isn't... Oh, this... Okay. This. I believe it's this. Yeah, this person is the one I want to talk to. And you want to do D O M, which is uh, Discipline of Magic. Ah, right. Magic. Yeah. 
Mm, primal gear. Oh shit, that actually looks dope. Yeah. Now what does it look like that? Cool. Let me just smack oh my, my microphone. God. I think I have like almost every I have most things from this except for the mouse, because fuck that. <laughs> Not through a lot of effort. You'll have enough for a thing. Gotta get you a weapon though. Yeah. Oh, that's what got me. Ah, coins wandered over. <laughs> Corin's just like, ah, yes. Ah, they have no weapons. Now we'll get this. Diet of engine. Ah, uh, thank God that I carry a, a white mage weapon around with me to or my white mage weapon. <laughs> Funny how this is actually better than what I've got right now. <laughs> Only by a little bit, but it's still better. Well, it's probably got like, what, plus four or five on the primary stats? Uh, probably. Which is, like, uh, which is going to be a lot, actually. Because, like, mind you can't meld, and that's a huge boost if you get, like, five stats in it. Yeah, it's uh, plus four defense, plus eight magic defense. Oh, uh, no, it's the down below that. Yeah. There's a thing like vitality and mind. Oh, it's a big bonus. Holy shit. Yeah. Plus 21 vitality. Uh, plus 21 mind. Piety, and it trades um, skill speed for plus 34 determination, plus 10 direct hit rate. Yeah, that's a that's a big that's a bit of a bonus. Oh yeah. <laughs> Eventually, you get the wings of buffing at level 80. Fucking, you guys are just styling on me. Yes. <laughs> Flexing on the poor, I see. Yes. <laughs> the fucking random stranger is too. <laughs> this fucking Flexing community is dumb. But, um, yeah, completely non sequitur. I just, I just really like the, sorry, not it. Uh, the name for the Chocobo, uh, Raji. It's, um, it actually has a meaning. Mm -hmm. Uh, it is, what's the language? Here, I'll summon my Chocobo and you can see its name. It also has a meaning. It also has cooler armor. That's the, uh, if you rank it up through deep, uh, tank first, that's the armor set you get. You can also die your chocobo, bigger. by the way. Is that the trap? No, it's because it's because my character is taller. Ah. To be fair, cat boys are canonically short. <laughs> yeah. I have the draft chocobo. The mounts. You, I got it. You get it for the uh, recruit a friend, the draw to chocobo. Ah. It's pretty big. The Jesus. That's not the biggest mount I have. The saddle is above my head. Yeah, well, hold on. Okay. I think it's just, you know, casually twice my height. This is the one I got for beating that, uh, the 48 person savage. I mean, it's, it's a fucking blue. That fight, that's so. so hard. This is a guaranteed. You just get this if you do it. I think a lot of, uh, raids are like that. Hold on. Oh, that's, that's 
across. Corian's over there flexing as one of the rarest mounts in the game for getting all the triple triad cards. Damn. at a party. This is what happens. Like, you just start doing shit. People will <laughs> just walk over. Fair enough. I remember, um, someone I was watching was fucking fishing. Oh, it's oh, the yeah. fat chocobo. Hell yeah. Yo. It's a royal fat chocobo. Now I'm, uh, now I'm showing this dude that I have two of them. <laughs> I don't have three, though, because I was lazy. Yeah, someone I was watching, um, they were fishing, and... 3,000 um, comms two, chocobo, two their, yeah. Two of their friends uh, came over to fish with them at the same spot, because uh, it was a spot they were grinding for uh, a fancy fishing pole, apparently. This is the best mountain in the uh, game. And, oh, yeah, the fatter cat. You get that with uh, the collector's edition, don't you? No, you have to buy it from the cash shop for, like, $20. Uh, it's so worth it. Oh, um, uh, that thing, yeah. Uh, I watched a video with all the maps on it. I'm just seeing them all like. It's a, oh, yeah, but, there's. Uh, the meaning behind uh, Rajni, uh, it's uh, Romani. Oh, you're small now. Uh, it, it literally means Romani, or it means lady in Romani. Mm. And I was just like, because Rivi is Romani inspired. Yeah. And, and I was, I was geared towards that when I got the choke. So that's what I did. Make me laugh, doo doo bear. I don't know, Flav. They say humor <laughs> is in the eye of the beholder. But they got a lot of eyes, so like I think it just means it's subjective at that point. Please. All right, Flav. What's brown and sticky? Stick. Brown. It sounds like a bell. Dung. What kind of bees give milk? Boobies. <laughs> I'm just quietly losing my shit <laughs> over here. So, uh, why'd the egg cross the road? Because it had the inclination. Why did the baby cross the road? Because it was stapled to the chicken. It's fucking jokes. The best part is when you go to fly with the fat chuck, but you pull out cake. I want it. Give me the cake. What's another? What's another good bad joke? See, normally I, I know more of them, but it's pretty late. <laughs> what? Oh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! -woo you fucking loser. <laughs> Corey's just like, I had to buy five whole Butterfingers for this mount. <laughs> That's why I didn't get it. I didn't want to buy Butterfingers. Shouldn't have laid a finger on my Butterfinger. Now you don't have a finger. I have motorcycle. I, I saw... Um, 
I saw that video I was watching that they, uh, whenever um, Final Fantasy 15 had come out, they had a fuck it. Uh, they had the car as a mount that you can get. Yeah, I have it. It it might come back. They've brought that event back, I think, twice now. You want to see the ugliest mount in the game? Because I have it. It's right here. This is some that Dragon is Ball shit. Ugly. It is. I was about to say. What do you call two guys hanging above your window? Curtain rod. More <laughs> more than twice. Yeah, they've brought the uh, the car one will be available again. I like the tank though. Oh, that's great. I that realized. Reminds me of TF2. I learned the other day that uh, when the the beam intersects with an interactable object, it explodes. Yo. Like that. The beam doesn't show up on my screen. I think it's because I've got a uh, second. Yeah. I think I can fix that. Ah, uh, yes. Classic mount flexing. Uh, I remember when this mount was new. This mount was like 5,000 gil. 5 million gil. It's just up bad. Another. Oh, the hippo. Yeah, that's classic. <laughs> I also have... This mount is bullshit. You can buy it from the market board, but its drop rate was dog shit, so it was like a several million gil mount. I did not buy it. I got it as drops because I did a bajillion fucking runs. Although, this is quite possibly the ugliest mount in the game. Hate this mount. What the fuck even is that? It's from Final Fantasy XI. Uh, not XI, uh, from Tactics. My brain is just not working. This is one of the best mounts in the game, though. Oh yeah, they, they hang on to the thing whenever you go to fly, don't they? Well, one of them's dead. Really? You see the one on the back right? <laughs> He's just dead. He's definitely dead. I seem to only get He's sick on weekdays. This is from 12. Oh, it's from 12. Okay, yeah. That poor boy is as dead on the outside as I am on the inside. There we go. Must have a weekend immune system. That's pretty good. Ba, 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 ba. That's a red joke. I like how I get down to my chocobo is just fucking massive. Did you, did you see my chocobo's name? It has a very special meaning as well. <laughs> you make blood face. <laughs> Classic memes. <laughs> Buddy with both faces, max level too. It's bougie. It's bougie. Bougie. I should use my head page so I can actually make my baby. That's gonna be a fun one. Well, as long as you save the character appearance, then it should be easy. I haven't made it in the past. You didn't save but the I, appearance data? No, nah, nah, I messed around with it to see if she could be made. Uh, also, that's literally just Scythe from Ruby. Who? Me? Ah, uh, Cory. I was gonna say, I've never seen fucking seen Ruby, so... It was good. It wasn't. I no was working uh, Dragon Con one year, and I was chatting with someone about Ruby. And I made the comment that I've made before, which is the animation got a lot better when their animator died. I mean... And as I said that, the cast of Ruby walked through the fucking door next to me. Oh. <laughs> not shitty, like not oh. even. Like within a, like within 30 seconds of me fucking saying that, they walked through the door next to me and me and the person went, oh shit, <laughs> and just walked away quickly. Damn. That's, uh, that's I, the timing. I legit couldn't get into Ruby because the animation is so fucking bad in the first season. <laughs> Look how broken this glam yeah, is. It's, 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 
It's really bad in the first season. It gets better in the second season. It's actually decent. Because the there. animator died. My favorite is actually the fourth. Because <laughs> the fucking animator died. I mean, when the animator died, the fucking story went down the drain. Because he's the only one keeping fucking storage. I mean, seriously, that story got so fucking stupid. Like, I want you to imagine the most poorly written thing that you've ever seen and then add on top of it the fucking Game of Thrones twist where it's just like, hey, we're just going to do whatever you don't expect. Aren't you a weeb? Aren't you going to play ninja? What, me? Yeah. I'm a weeb. I'm not a fucking weeb. Well, that's why you don't play samurai. Okay, I'm not a fucking ninja. That's why I don't play ninja. I'm more likely to play Dragoon. Although, honestly, I think the, the, I like the next body. class I'm going to pick up is Paladin. Do I still have my Paladin rec uh, relic on me? It's so hard to tell. My inventory is a fucking mess. It do be like that. I do have the old, the A Realm Reborn monk relic, because I meant to finish it, and I just haven't, because it's, it's kitty cats. They go rar when you equip them. And they look stupid. Because yeah, they're entirely too big, and you hold them in a weird spot. But have you considered that it's funny? Hmm. Hold on, there's I a... Put away my where is I have so many monk lands. <laughs> this one's dragon heads, oh, and they also go raw. No, they don't. Never mind. There's also one that's just tea kettles. There is, okay. there is a monk weapon that is just tea kettles. And it's very hard to get. And I probably just broke the portraits because it's a stupid feature that is super buggy. Hold on. My wife recently gave birth. After the baby was handed to my wife in a blanket, I asked, do you think they keep blankets in a, at womb temperature? Eh. I haven't actually done a glam on this yet. Let's see. I'm just gonna put on my mining. <laughs> actually, pretty good. Enough. I like that you can be stance as a fucking crafter. You can't, you haven't gotten that part in the story yet, but you can do battle stance. They just use the uh, paladin animation set for crafters and gatherers. Oh, that's right, my title, I changed up my title and haven't changed it back. Oh, let's say the firmament. Yeah, I, listen, I gotta flex, man. It's the most important Fair. thing. I, I saw the requirements that go into that. You can't get it anymore. I don't anymore. know what it was, about that. It's, it's, really? Yeah, it's, you cannot get Saint of the Firmament. It was a limited time thing. Basically, if you, it was, you only got it if you placed top 12. Yeah. And then everyone else uh, that was mm -hmm. uh, 100 or above got a different title. Yeah. Corrin also is Saint of the Firmament. Yeah, Corrin's flex, flex title is the Seventh Dawn. Is that really a flex? It just tells everyone that you... Actually, tells no one, but it tells me that you spent so much time running that one dungeon that I fucking hate. It's just the level 71 dungeon. I hate that dungeon so much. Meanwhile, I have no title. And I must scream. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I have not a clip. Yeah. Do it. Um, Put one on. Do it. under profile. I've never been to this fucking tab. I actually have no titles. 
That's have weird. Zero titles. I don't know how that's possible, but okay. This is Endwalker's title. Is that? Oh. The seventh Dawn? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, it's the. It's, yeah, the trust. That's what I was thinking. I, you, you confused me by stating the thing I already knew in a different way. Yeah, the trust is you. Uh, it's you'll. It's a thing of Chatterbringers. It's the ways away. I haven't done it because it's just it's fucking mind numbing. I don't know how Corrine did it, because <laughs> every time I've tried to do it, I've been like, "Wow, hate this." Okay, I have to go to bed. <laughs> It's so fucking late. I will see you guys later. Thursday is fucking dark tide. Saturday is Fallout no. 4. Have a good one.